Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Forced to become a villain, the system gives me so much. Chapter 61 As soon as Tianyi came out of the sky, everyone raised their heads, their eyes full of shock and disbelief. Because within their cognitive scope, the great sage realm is already the limit, and beyond that is the great emperor. But at this moment, an existence beyond the great emperor realm, a powerful heavenly emperor suddenly appeared in front of them, which caused their worldview to completely collapse. At the same time, Tianyi's appearance was like a bolt of lightning across the sky, instantly breaking the calm. The entire blue star seemed to be waking up from a deep sleep. Whether it was the secret realm hidden in the deep mountains and old forests, or the cave mansion buried deep underground, even the coffins buried underground began to emit strong spiritual energy fluctuations. Countless powerful auras spewed out like volcanoes, and these ancient beings who had been sleeping awakened one after another. And the initiator of all this is Tianyi. He is like a key that opens the door and allows the great world to come. Hey, third child, is Ling'er okay? Ancestor and the others are all awake. I'll take them to defeat that sword spirit. Chen Tianao shouted anxiously to Chen Lei on the other end of the phone. Chen Lei slowly raised the phone, his throat was so dry that it was difficult to speak. He swallowed hard and then said, Brother, maybe you don't need to come. Xiao Ling. You, tell me, what's wrong with Ling Er? Chen Tianao roared anxiously, his heartbeat accelerated rapidly, as if it was about to jump out of his throat. His whole body was enveloped by an uncontrollable tension and he couldn't wait. I want to know the specific situation of my son. Xiao Ling, hides it too deeply. Heavenly Emperor Realm's trump card, is so awesome. After Chen Lei stammered this sentence, he couldn't help but Chen Tianao waited for a response and hung up the phone in a hurry. The Chen family of Tiandu. Chen Tianao held the phone, his face full of shock and confusion. He slowly put down the phone, turned to look at the ancestors of the great emperor realm sitting next to him, and said with an embarrassed look, Ancestor, there is no need to go. Ling'er is fine. Quote. Ha. Chen Poshin frowned and asked doubtfully, I seem to have heard something about the heavenly emperor realm just now. Ahem, my third brother must be talking nonsense. How could Ling'er have a trump card in the heavenly emperor realm? Chen Tianao explained quickly, but his eyes were flickering. The three great emperor realm ancestors looked at each other, with a hint of understanding flashing in their eyes. They've obviously realized something. It shouldn't be nonsense. We all woke up from our deep sleep because we felt the aura of the heavenly emperor realm. Chen Zhang said with a solemn expression. This, Chen Tianao was stunned and didn't know how to answer for a while. The dual field was in a mess at the moment, with ruins and broken bricks everywhere, as if it had gone through a fierce battle. Tianyi, give that little sword spirit a ride. Chen Ling ordered expressionlessly. Tianyi nodded without hesitation, then gently stretched out a finger and pointed it in the air. This finger seems ordinary, but it contains extremely powerful power. No, don't kill me, senior. I am willing to be your sword spirit. The sword spirit was horrified and desperately begged for mercy. However, Tianyi's fingers mercilessly penetrated his eyebrows. In an instant, his body turned into ashes and dissipated in the air. Only the tarnished Dao sword was left, falling alone beside Ji Yu Chang'e. After completing all this, Tianyi silently walked behind Chen Ling and stood respectfully, like a loyal servant. This scene once again shocked everyone present. Ji Yu Chang'e's face was unusually calm, but deep inside he was full of reluctance. He took a deep breath and looked up at Chen Ling, a trace of determination flashing in his eyes. I have a question to ask you. After I ask it, it's up to you whether you want to kill him or cut him into pieces. Ji Yu Chang'e stared firmly into Chen Ling's eyes and said firmly, Chen Ling smiled slightly and raised his hand to signal him to continue. Ji Yu Chang'e stood up tremblingly and asked with an angry look on his face, You have killed so many people, don't you have the slightest bit of intolerance? Chen Ling paused for a moment, and recalled every bit of what he had experienced during this period in his mind. Then he smiled with relief and said, Can't bear it. I don't feel that way. In this world, there is no absolute distinction between good and evil. There are only winners and losers. When Ji Yu Chang'e heard this, he became more and more excited and roared, but most of those people are innocent. They were brutally killed by you like this. 
His voice echoed over the entire duel field, and everyone on the overlook was silent, quietly waiting for Chen Ling's response. Chen Ling walked slowly, scanning everyone around him, and shouted loudly, of all of you here, who dares to say that he is a kind person? Who dares to claim to be a righteous person? The whole place was silent, no one dared to answer. You, Li Chang, when you were 18 years old, because of your greed for cultivation resources, you stabbed your best friend in the back in the secret realm. Chen Ling suddenly pointed at an outer courtyard instructor and reprimanded sternly. The outer courtyard instructor was shocked and lowered his head silently, not daring to look directly into Chen Ling's eyes. Wu Qian, also for the purpose of cultivating resources, dated 20 boyfriends on the internet at the same time to obtain more benefits and benefits. In order to satisfy her own selfish desires, she would use other people's feelings by any means, even hurting their hearts. This such behavior is simply outrageous. And you, Ji Yu Chenge, four years ago, in the secret realm of the college entrance examination, actually killed his brother, Wang Nian, with his own hands. What a cruel and heartless act. He betrayed his friends, for his own selfish gain, throwing friendship behind, wow, that's so ridiculous. Chen Ling was heart-wrenching with every word. Ji Yu Chenge was unable to refute, and could only silently endure the criticism and contempt from everyone. It turns out that it was Ji Yu Chenge who killed Wang Nian back then. Someone shouted in surprise. Hiss. I didn't expect it. It would be like this. Another person sighed. No, brother Ji Yu is not such a person. Su Han Yu explained, but this was the pressure of public opinion, and people didn't listen at all. It's such a pity. If Wang Nian was still alive, he must be a dazzling genius now. People expressed regret. Chen Ling looked at everyone's reactions and felt secretly proud. He continued. So, don't talk about justice for me. People are selfish, and everyone is wearing a sheepskin to hide the deep filth. And I live openly. I can kill whenever I want. Why hide? In my opinion, this is hypocrisy. His voice was full of disdain and ridicule. The so-called human nature is just a shackle that binds you. Desire is the essence of human nature. You hypocrites are just deceiving yourself and others. Chen Ling continued to mock, and his words made everyone present fall into deep thought. Chen Ling said a lot in one breath to vent his emotions. These people made him feel sick, a group of hypocrites who stood on the moral high ground. I chose the evil path because after I saw the truth of this world, I no longer believed in the so-called justice. So, Ji Yu Chang'e, farewell. After Chen Ling said this, the blood sword flew out and penetrated Ji Yu Chang'e. The heart of Song. The heavenly demon Mosquito appears and absorbs his blood and soul. As for the Dao sword, it was taken into the universe ring by Chen Ling. Seeing the person she liked being killed with her own eyes, Su Hanyu collapsed and became crazy. Her eyes lost focus and she muttered to herself, as if her soul had left her body. Chen Ling naturally noticed this, and he sighed, you are a suffering person who is deeply in love, that's all, a good man will do his best to help you escape. After Chen Ling finished speaking, he waved his hand gently, and an invisible force struck towards Su Hanyu. Su Hanyu froze for an instant, as if she was being shocked by an electric shock, and then walked forward involuntarily, walking step by step to the edge of the overlook. She climbed over the guardrail and jumped straight down without using any cultivation skills. Poof! A muffled sound came, and Su Hanyu fell heavily to the ground at a height of 80 meters. The ground was dyed red with blood, and her body turned into a blur of flesh. What a crazy person! Someone in the crowd exclaimed. What a good girl, she died for her love. People shook their heads and sighed. However, amidst the sighs of the crowd, Huang Daosheng and Chen Lei turned their attention to Chen Ling, seeming to notice something unusual. The matter came to an end, but the atmosphere on campus was still heavy. After such a big event happened, some students at Qinglong University were not interested in studying. This incident swept across China like a storm and became the focus of heated discussion. The top-ranked topic on the hot search list is, Qinglong University suddenly shows up with a powerful heavenly emperor. Followed by the second topic, Heavenly Emperor Realm Expert is actually a servant of a student. The third topic is, the young man's words make people wake up. Chen Ling finally returned to the Chen family. He felt relieved and could have a good rest. At the same time, he is also preparing to receive his own reward.
Ding. Congratulations to the host, you successfully killed Ji Yu Chenge and Ning Yi, the Sons of Luck. So far, seven Sons of Luck have been killed. Rewards are distributed. The system prompt sounded. Ding. Congratulations to the host, you have obtained the soul embodying tree. Chen Ling couldn't help but mutter to himself, I didn't even count carefully. It turns out that I have killed seven children of destiny. Forget it, let's take a look at the rewards first. Then he began to look carefully. Research what these rewards are for. Spirit accumulating tree. It can increase the intensity of spiritual energy within a certain range, up to a hundred times. Heaven Swallowing Demon Technique Modified This is a magical technique suitable for everyone to practice. It can swallow a large amount of spiritual energy to quickly improve the level of cultivation. However, when the practitioner reaches the Heavenly Emperor state, its effect will gradually weaken. Soul Capturing Flag This treasure can contain powerful souls or be used in conjunction with the Blood Sword. Once you wave the Soul Capturing Flag, you can summon the army of the underworld and form a powerful fighting force. Reincarnation Tower This mysterious tower contains a small world with abundant spiritual energy, even comparable to Blue Star's peak period. Not only that, you can also enter it to practice, and the time ratio is as high as 1, 100. In other words, after 100 days of cultivation inside, only one day has passed outside. In addition, there are many other wonderful uses waiting for the host to discover. Chen Ling rubbed his chin and fell into deep thought. He began to think about how to use these treasures. After a moment, a light flashed in his eyes. By the way, these treasures can be used by my Chen family. Although the Chen family is already very powerful on Blue Star, once they leave Blue Star and face the wider world, their strength becomes somewhat insufficient. After all, I want to penetrate the heavens in the future, and it is absolutely impossible without enough manpower and power support. Thinking of this, Chen Ling no longer hesitated and immediately went to Chen Tianao's study. At the same time, the three ancestors and Chen Zhanyi were also in the study. What? There is such a magical thing. Chen Tianao said in surprise, and several ancestors also had shocked looks on their faces. Boy Ling, is it really as magical as you say? Chen Poshan asked curiously. You guarantee it with your head. Chen Ling said confidently. Ha ha ha, okay, our Chen family is about to rise again. Chen Zhang laughed. Then, Chen Ling discussed the details with them. I think that all the Chen family members who are outside should be called back and all enter the Samsara Tower to practice. With the blessing of the Yunling Tree and the Heaven Swallowing Demon Technique, they will definitely become stronger quickly. Chen Ling suggested. Several people were thinking seriously. For a moment, everyone nodded, we agree. No matter how powerful a force is, it cannot do without strong power. Ancestors, I believe you also know that the world is very big. The blue star is just a tiny speck of dust in the starry sky, and our eyes should be on this huge sky. Chen Ling said loudly. His voice was like a bell, echoing throughout the entire conference room, making everyone feel his determination and belief. Okay, I have you, Chen Ling, in our Chen family. In the future, your name will surely be resounding throughout the world. Chen Poshan patted Chen Ling on the shoulder and said. His eyes were full of relief and pride, and he was very satisfied with Chen Ling's performance. After some deliberations, the senior officials of the Chen family decided to take action. They issued a message overnight to recall all Chen family members who were outside. No matter what position they held outside or which force they were in, they must return to the Chen family immediately. As soon as this order was issued, it immediately caused an uproar. Even Chen Lei resigned from his position as vice principal, which once surprised the teachers and students of the school. After all, he had a high status in the school, so his sudden resignation caught people off guard. As the third elder of the Presbyterian Church, Chen Wanjin naturally returned. His return made the other elders breathe a sigh of relief. With Chen Wanjin leaving, they could start planning freely. With the return of everyone in the Chen family, the whole family became lively. Everyone is discussing the reasons for this recall and speculating on what might happen next. In the Chinese Black Dragon Club branch, a war is going on. Eighteen Godfiend elders took action and destroyed all the Black Dragon Guild branches, and this was the last one. Young Master has received news. Let us go back as soon as possible to improve our strength. 
Maybe we will be able to fight Blue Star in a short time. Godfi and Huan shouted loudly. Okay, then kill him. The other Godfi and elders rushed forward. Suddenly, no trace of the members of the Black Dragon Society were left alive, and in the darkness, an embarrassed figure was running away, looking back from time to time. This person is none other than the Vice President of the Black Dragon Society, Lan Wangchuan. Zhao, who are these people? Eighteen great saints. Could they be those guys from the Presbyterian Church? Am I being tricked? Lan Wangchuan cursed. Eighteen Godfi and elders killed the last member of the Black Dragon Society, and then suddenly looked back, there is a small insect running away. In the Great Holy Land, it should be a big fish. Catch it back and bring it to the young master. After saying that, the figure flashed and chased Lan Wangchuan. The Chen family in Tiandu, in front of the family ancestral hall. This is a broad and solemn square, with sunlight falling on the ground, reflecting the ancient and solemn buildings. Today, the entire Chen family gathered here, people talked in low voices, and the voices were intertwined, as if forming a special atmosphere. I wonder why we are all called back this time. A young tribesman asked the elder next to him curiously. Yes, the Chen family hasn't been so lively for a long time. Another person sighed, with a trace of expectation in his eyes. Hey, mistress, long time no see. A shout came from the distance. It turned out to be the reunion of two clansmen who had not seen each other for a long time. Brother Li, long time no see. Xiao Zanzi responded with a smile, his eyes sparkling with joy. Something good should happen this time. Someone speculated, with excitement in their tone. Okay, okay, stop talking, the family master and the others are here. With these words, the crowd suddenly became quiet, and their eyes turned to the front of the square. I saw Chen Tianao leading the three ancestors and Chen Ling walking slowly, with steady steps and serious expressions. Every step seems to carry an invisible pressure, which makes people feel awe. Everyone in the Chen family below kept silent and looked at Chen Tianao and the others respectfully. After looking at Chen Ling, Chen Tianao took a step forward, and his powerful voice echoed in the square, everyone. I am calling you back to the family today for no other purpose than to enhance the strength of the Chen family. As soon as he finished speaking, the crowd in the Chen family below was excited and excited. Chen Tianao continued, Because the Chen family has been prosperous for a long time, many forces are jealous of us and regard the Chen family as a thorn in their flesh and a thorn in their side. They want to get rid of us immediately. Today, the world is changing, the great age is coming, and many powerful people are awakening. At this time, the situation of the Chen family is not optimistic, and they may face suppression from many forces. But, I want to ask you, are you, afraid? Don't be afraid, don't be afraid, don't be afraid, everyone in the Chen family shouted in unison, the sound shook the roof tiles, and they were full of passion. Chen Tianao showed a gratified smile, nodded in approval, and then announced loudly, God favors the Chen family and has given the Chen family such an outstanding unicorn son, Chen Ling. After discussion and decision by the family's top brass, Chen Ling is now the young head of the Chen family. Chen Ling walked out of the crowd, unleashing his powerful saint-level cultivation without reservation, causing shock and admiration from the entire audience. Hiss, Chen Ling has actually broken through to the saint realm. Young master, young master, Chen Ling smiled slightly waved his hand and said, in order to realize the prosperity of my Chen family, please follow me into the Tower of Reincarnation. As soon as he finished speaking, he raised his hand and threw out a small tower. The tower quickly grew in size and stood firmly in the center of the square. Purple black light circulates around the tower, exuding a mysterious atmosphere. Chen Ling took the lead into the Samsara Tower without hesitation. Although everyone in the Chen family was a little confused, they still followed closely with curiosity. Chen Tianao and several senior executives looked at each other, smiled, nodded, and then resolutely stepped into the Samsara Tower. At the same time, several Heavenly Emperor Realm Auras and a Divine Emperor Realm Aura quietly emerged, guarding the surroundings of the Reincarnation Tower. The interior of the Samsara Tower is like a paradise, with lush trees, numerous birds and beasts, and abundant spiritual energy. Everyone landed on a dojo, with mysterious formations carved under their feet, and a magnificent hall in front of them. Everyone in the Chen family was amazed, even several ancestors were shocked. 
Chen Ling waved his hand again and saw the Yunling tree appearing in front of everyone. This tree has six thick roots, and the leaves are still shining with stars, as if they contain endless mysteries. The Yunling tree slowly floated to the edge of the array, and then began to take root in the ground. Suddenly, countless spiritual energy gathered towards it like a tide, and was absorbed by it continuously. Immediately afterwards, the Yunling tree shone with dazzling light, and from the lush leaves, a richer and purer spiritual energy was released than before. So warm, someone murmured softly. I actually broke through two levels of cultivation just like this. A disciple of the Chen family was so excited that he couldn't contain himself. I broke through too. Another person shouted excitedly. The powerful spiritual energy is like the spring breeze blowing on the face, nourishing everyone's body and soul. Many Chen family members have unknowingly broken through their own cultivation bottlenecks and their strength has been significantly improved. This change is so amazing and jaw-dropping. Everyone, this is the heaven-swallowing demon technique. It is a technique that I accidentally found. It is the most efficient way to cultivate spiritual energy. Chen Ling said solemnly, and then sacrificed the technique. I saw this exercise book growing in size in the air, and finally, it stood like a stone book in front of everyone. Wow, everyone was shocked because they all felt a powerful aura emanating from this technique. Chen Ling smiled and said, Okay, now everyone can start practicing. If you don't understand anything, you can ask me at any time. When everyone started practicing, Chen Ling said to Chen Tianao and others, Dad, Mom, Ancestor, you come with me. Chen Tianao and others looked at each other with some doubts in their hearts, but still followed Chen Ling into the hall. And you, Chen Ling said to Xie Ziqing and others, as well as Chen Xiao and others. Although everyone was puzzled, they still followed Chen Ling's pace and stepped into the hall together. In the main hall, there are hundreds of futons, shrouded in a faint golden halo, surrounded by dozens of sky-reaching stone pillars. Dad, Mom, you can practice here. This place has many effects. Sitting on that futon and practicing, you may even be able to achieve enlightenment. Chen Ling explained. But, will it make the tribesmen outside feel resentful? Lin Shinru asked worriedly. It doesn't matter. In the hall, only those with extraordinary talents or strong strength can enter. You all belong to these two types. Chen Ling said with a smile. Normally, I would also select talented people from my tribe to come in and practice. I believe they should understand. Eldest brother, second brother, third sister, and fifth brother, you all have special physiques, and your physiques may break through again in the future, so don't waste your talents. Chen Ling said to Chen Muan and others. Don't worry, fourth brother, we won't be pulled down by you. Chen Xiao patted his chest and said confidently. Xie Ziqing, you should also practice hard. Maybe in two years, we will go beyond Blue Star. By then, if your cultivation level is too low, you will not be qualified to follow me. Chen Ling looked at his subordinates said patiently. Don't worry, Mr. Ling, we will definitely live up to your expectations. After Xie Ziqing said that, he picked a futon and started practicing. Chen Ling nodded with satisfaction. Zhang Chao, you and I are good friends. You possess the Teoti King body. This place has abundant spiritual energy. Don't lose the reputation of this body. Brother Ling, don't worry. I won't let you down. Zhang Chao said seriously. Outside, a month has passed. In the Presbyterian Church, everyone discussed the recent events with solemn faces. Why has there been so little movement in the Chen family recently? Xin Zheng frowned and asked in confusion. Could they be plotting something? The fourth elder said seriously. A month ago, Chen Wanjin resigned as an elder. Not only that, but all the Chen family members who held important positions were recalled. There must be a big problem here. The fifth elder analyzed carefully. Everyone nodded and agreed with his point of view. At this time, the first elder suddenly spoke, let's not talk about this for now. Previously, the Black Dragon Society's branch in China was uprooted by a group of mysterious people. Elder Xin Zheng, do you have any news? Xin Zheng shook his head helplessly, I don't know, I can't find out at all, I just know that that group of people is extremely powerful. Hearing this, everyone took a breath of cold air, secretly glad that they did not encounter such an enemy. Alas, it's such a troubled time. The ancestors of the great emperor realm among those aristocratic families have all awakened. 
The cooperation with other countries cannot be postponed any longer. How is the discussion going, Elder Xinjiang? The first elder sighed and turned around. He turned his head to look at Xinjiang. The lion of the beautiful country is so open-minded that he wants one-third of my territory in China. This is really too much. Xinjiang slammed the table and said angrily. There was silence in the conference room. One-third of the territory was a price too high. Agree to their request first. The first elder said after thinking for a moment. But, the fourth elder stood up and was about to say something when he was interrupted by the first elder. Don't worry, if the strong men from other countries are allowed to come in, it will not be us, but the people from the aristocratic families. I believe they don't want to see China fall into the hands of others. The first elder smiled mysteriously. Sit on the mountain and watch the tiger fight. Hiss, this is a wonderful plan. The fifth elder exclaimed. Okay, Elder Xinjiang, go contact them. Nowadays, the great world has only just begun to arrive. Currently, only the strong men of the great emperor realm have awakened. The time for the strong men above the great emperor has not yet come. In the beautiful country, in a dense forest, a woman in black robe stood under a big tree, looking into the distance. Her eyes were deep and firm, as if transmigrating time and space and seeing the distant future. Her beautiful face was covered by a black robe, but she still exuded a mysterious and charming atmosphere. Her lips trembled slightly, and she whispered softly, Chong Zhe. I will avenge you. Her voice was full of sadness and anger. If Chen Ling were here, he would be surprised to find that this woman is actually his mentor, Han Xia. At this moment, Han Xia exuded a powerful aura and was even more powerful than before. She had obviously broken through to the Holy King realm. Han Xia took a deep breath and continued, I am willing to join the Dark Temple. Please give me strength from my lord. As her words fell, a mysterious force enveloped her body, taking her into an unknown space. Ji family, in the spacious and bright living room, Ji Chenge was lowering his head to plead with his father Ji Shan who was sitting on the sofa. Dad, just make friends with the Chen family. Otherwise we will regret it. Ji Chenge's tone was low, with a hint of pleading. Ji Shan frowned tightly, a trace of doubt and dissatisfaction flashed in his eyes. He stared at his son and said in a deep voice, Chen Zhe, why are you so obsessed with making friends with the Chen family? What did Chen Ling do to you? What kind of ecstasy soup can make you so respected? Ji Cheng Ge sighed helplessly and explained, Dad, Chen Ling has great potential, and his future is limitless. Moreover, the Chen family has a profound background, and it will be beneficial to our family to make friends with him. Ji Shan shook his head, with a determined look on his face, ha. Huh. Although the Chen family is strong, RG family is not bad either. Why bother to curry favor with them? Besides, Chen Ling's rise is too sudden and unpredictable. Ji Cheng Ge was extremely anxious. He knew his father's stubborn character, but he was unwilling to give up the opportunity to make good friends with the Chen family. He persuaded again. Dad, please think about it again. There may be a bigger secret hidden behind the Chen family, and forming an alliance with them is crucial to the development of our family. Dad, you don't understand young Master Ling's talent at all. How terrifying it is. You have to give him time. No one in the entire China, no. Probably the entire Blue Star, is his opponent. Ji Chenge's face was filled with emotion, obsessed. Besides, believe me, this is an investment. People still like us now, otherwise, in the future, our Ji family will not be able to catch his eye. Ji Shan frowned and thought for a moment, let you handle this matter. Ji Chenge was overjoyed, don't worry, dad, you won't regret today's decision. As everyone knows, a few years later, Ji Shan licked even more diligently than his son. In the Tower of Reincarnation, eight years passed in a blink of an eye, and the strength of everyone in the Chen family increased rapidly. Now, their lowest realm has actually reached the Tao First Realm. The rich spiritual energy and terrifying skills are indeed well deserved. In such an environment, everyone's practice speed can be said to be rapid. Nowadays, there are many masters in the saint realm, and there are hundreds of experts in the great saint realm. And there are more than a dozen in the great emperor realm. This makes the Chen family an extremely powerful family. Chen Ling is naturally one of them. He successfully broke through to the great emperor realm through his own efforts. This is the result of his own hard training. During this period of time, 
Chen Ling not only helped everyone in the Chen family improve their strength, but also brought people from the Lin family into the Samsara Tower to practice together. Now, he has become the young master of the Lin family. Chen Tianao, Chen Zhanyi, Chen Wanjin, Chen Lei, Lin Xinru, as well as his grandfather Lin Hong and other senior Lin family members have all successfully broken through to the Great Emperor realm. As for the original ancestors of the Great Emperor realm, three of the Chen family have entered the Heavenly Emperor realm, while two of the Lin family are wandering perfectly in the Great Emperor realm and can break through at any time. Chen Xiao, Chen Ting, and Chen Muan, they all broke through to the Saint King realm. As for the fifth child, Chen Cixi, her talent is equally terrifying, and she has broken through to the Saint Realm. Xie Ziqing and others also broke through to the Holy King Realm. The most shocking thing is that Qin Yao jumped to the late stage of the Great Emperor Realm. But this is normal, she was originally a Great Emperor Realm before. At this point, the strength of the Chen family has reached its peak. Thousands of people gathered here at the border of China. They were wearing casual clothes and looking ahead with serious expressions. These people are soldiers from the beautiful country. They received orders to destroy a family in China. However, the agreed time has passed for a long time, and China has not shown up yet. Sir, the high-level officials of China don't stick to time. It was promised at 9 o'clock, but now it's almost 10 o'clock, and no one has come to respond. A white soldier couldn't help complaining. Although his voice was not loud, other soldiers around him also expressed dissatisfaction. After all, they had been waiting here for a long time, and the weather was very hot and uncomfortable. The leading officer heard the soldiers' complaints, but he did not respond. He just stood there quietly, staring into the distance, seeming to be thinking about something. After a while, he slowly said, wait a little longer, maybe they are delayed by something. After that, he closed his eyes again and continued to remain silent. Finally, around 10.30, a black car appeared in the distance. The car was extremely fast and quickly arrived at the checkpoint and stopped. Then, a man in a black suit got out of the car, followed by several burly bodyguards wearing sunglasses. The man looked very hurried. He was adjusting his clothes and breathing heavily. Arriving at the checkpoint, the man adjusted his clothes, took a breath, and then walked towards the beautiful soldiers with a smile. He walked up to the leading officer, stretched out a hand, and said politely, Everyone, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I am the representative of China, Yan Bin. The leading officer raised his head and looked at the man in front of him. He nodded expressionlessly and responded, I am the beautiful National Army, John Li. Mr. Yan, you just made it easy for us to wait. Yan Bin smiled awkwardly, Sorry, I was negligent and was delayed by an impromptu meeting. In this case, I will take you to the club to have fun. I will apologize to you. John Lee looked at the thousands of soldiers behind him and said jokingly, there are thousands of us. I'm afraid we will overwhelm the place. Mr. Yan, please stop joking. Yan Bin pinched his fingers, with an awkward smile on his face, and said, ha ha, I'm sorry, I didn't think well, please don't mind Mr. John. John Lee's expression softened and he nodded slightly, indicating that he accepted Yan Bin's apology. However, his tone suddenly became serious, and he stared at Yan Bin sharply and asked, Okay, this time our target is the so-called Chen family. Come and introduce to me the strength of the Chen family in detail. Quote, Hearing these words, Yan Bin also put away his playful smile. He knew that now was not the time to joke. So, he pulled John Lee to the tent next to him, and the two sat down together. After entering the tent, Yan Bin took a deep breath and said slowly, the Chen family is a very powerful family. As far as I know, they have no less than five saint grade experts. Moreover, with the advent of the Great Age recently, Mr. John must have heard about it, right? The great emperor of the Chen family should have begun to recover. After saying this, Yan Bin's eyes became deep and solemn, as if he was afraid of the Chen family's strength. However, John Lee smiled slightly and did not take Yan Bin's words to heart. He said easily, so what? Don't forget, the great emperor of our beautiful country has also awakened. Moreover, the great emperor of our beautiful country will also participate in this operation. In addition, your Chinese strength and compared with us, there is still a certain gap. Hearing this, Yan Bin felt a surge of anger in his heart, 
but he tried to control his emotions and did not want to conflict with John Lee at this time. He clenched his fists tightly, his nails digging into his palms. Although he was very dissatisfied in his heart, he still tried his best to keep his expression gentle and said, Mr. John, I suggest you not to underestimate the Chen family. Yan Bin thought for a while, but still didn't tell Chen Ling about the Heavenly Emperor realm expert next to him. This John Li is really too arrogant. The Chen family is not worth mentioning. This time, we have 100 Saint King realms, 50 Great Saint realms, thousands of Saint realms, not counting the Great Emperor realm hidden in the dark. What do you think? Why are you afraid? Then the Chen family, I will take action tonight. John Li waved his hand, and the time for action was set. After Yan Bin settled John Li and his group, he hurriedly left again. He sat in the car and cursed with a gloomy face. That old guy Xin Zheng actually asked me to take over such a difficult matter. If exposed, wouldn't he become a traitor? How dare I take the blame for him? This old fox, Yan Bin suddenly realized. It turned out that he had unknowingly become the scapegoat. If the matter was revealed, he might be abandoned at any time. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but feel a burst of anger and fear. No, I can't sit still and wait for death. I must be prepared to leave a way out for myself. After saying that, he quickly took out his mobile phone and dialed a phone number. At this time, a disciple of the Chen family had just hung up the phone and walked into the Samsara Tower nervously and hurriedly. He trotted all the way to the front of the hall and shouted breathlessly, Chen Da asks to see the young master. I have something important to report. Then he bowed his hands to the hall door respectfully. In the main hall, Chen Ling was practicing with his eyes closed, but when he heard the movement outside, he slowly opened his eyes. Although he had some doubts in his heart, he still opened the palace door and let the other party in, come in. Chen Da was delighted and stepped into the hall. I walked slowly and looked around. It was so spectacular. There was more spiritual energy than outside. It was a holy land for cultivation. This is his inner thought. When he came to the center of the hall, dozens of pairs of eyes were looking at him, which made Chen to feel numb. Tell me what you want from me, Chen Ling said calmly. Chen De bowed to them first, and then said, Master, young master, elders, I am a third generation disciple of the Chen family, and I used to serve in the military region. Today, I received a call from my former colleague. He told me that China's top management has cooperated with the beautiful country to intend to destroy my Chen family. They decided to do it tonight. After Chen De finished speaking, Chen Tianao and others suddenly exploded, you are so outrageous. If you dare to scheme against my Chen family, you are really looking for death. Chen Wanjin even said angrily, are they those guys from the Presbyterian Church? Chen De hesitated and said, yes, I have only resigned for more than a month. They are about to change the world. The scars are so healed that they forget the pain. Chen Wanjin roared. Chen Ling asked Chen De to step back, turned around and said to the family elders, it doesn't matter, it's been silent for a long time, it's time to stretch your muscles. Otherwise, they will all think that my Chen family can't carry the knife. Everyone nodded and agreed with this decision. Except for a few ancestors, tonight, all the clan members will go out to test the results of their cultivation. By the way, let's shuffle the cards within China. It's annoying to always be jumping around like this, Chen Ling said casually. After the order was conveyed, all the Chen family members took action. As for some of the Lin family members, they also participated in this operation. Night shrouded the earth, and the Chen family was surrounded by darkness. Only the faint moonlight illuminated this peaceful land. However, there are countless figures hidden around the Chen family in the darkness. These are all beautiful Chinese people. They have been lying in wait here for a long time, just waiting for an order to take action. Inside the Chen family, Chen Ling leisurely moved an imperial chair, placed it at the highest point of the Chen family, and then sat on it firmly, looking down at everything below like an emperor. He was quietly waiting for tonight's wonderful drama to take place, with a kind of confidence and calmness in his eyes. At the same time, Chen Tianao, Chen Zhanyi and several other great emperor realm experts were hiding in the void, silently waiting for the enemy's arrival. Their mission is to deal with the possible emergence of the powerful great emperor realm and protect the safety of the Chen family. This night was destined to be uneventful. Many people were tossing and turning in bed, unable to fall asleep. 
Their hearts were full of uneasiness and expectation, not knowing what would happen next. The conference room of the Presbyterian Church was brightly lit, and the four elders sat together with serious expressions, anxiously waiting for the news from ahead. They know that tonight's action is related to their future. If successful, they will be able to control the resources of the Chen family and take their strength to a higher level. If it fails, the consequences will be disastrous. At this moment, the bright moon in the sky was suddenly covered by clouds, and the whole world fell into darkness. A fierce look flashed in John Lee's eyes, and he ordered in a low voice, Act! Before he could finish his words, thousands of soldiers leapt over the wall like ghosts and landed quietly in the Chen family compound. However, when they entered the Chen family compound, the sight in front of them made them dumbfounded. The Chen family compound, which should have been bustling with activity, was now deserted, and the silence was eerie. John Lee's heart sank, and he subconsciously raised his head, only to find a young man sitting on the roof out of nowhere. Hey, kid, do you know where all the people here have gone? John Lee asked loudly. He looked at the young man in front of him, his heart full of curiosity and vigilance. This place looks mysterious and seems to be hiding some secret. When Chen Ling heard this, the corners of his mouth raised slightly, revealing a playful smile. He slowly raised a finger and moved it slightly. At this moment, John Lee felt as if his body was hit by an invisible force, and his whole body instantly turned into a ball of blood mist. Before the surrounding beautiful soldiers could react, John Lee had already disappeared without a trace. They stared at this scene with wide eyes and disbelief. Monster! Monster! Kill the great holy realm with one finger! Someone shouted in horror, with endless fear in his voice. However, these soldiers were all holy warriors who had experienced countless battles. After a brief panic, they quickly calmed down. Although facing such a terrifying opponent, they did not flinch, but held the weapons in their hands tightly and prepared to face the next challenge. However, what they didn't know was that Chen Ling's action just now was just the beginning. Suddenly, many figures jumped out from the darkness. They were dressed in uniform clothes, with firm light shining in their eyes. These people are the children of the Chen family. They have been ambushing here for a long time, waiting for the best opportunity. In an instant, seven to eight thousand children of the Chen family appeared on the battlefield. Together with the children of the Lin family, the total number was close to ten thousand. Among them, there are many strong people in the Dao realm, and there are countless masters in the Saint realm. There are also nearly a thousand strong people in the Holy King realm and the Great Saint realm. The Chen family disciples took action together without hesitation, and their attacks were like a violent storm attacking the soldiers of the beautiful country. Every attack contains huge power, making it impossible for the enemy to resist. Fake, is this still the China I know? A beautiful soldier shouted in shock. He had never thought that China had such a powerful strength. That guy Yan Bin lied to us. Another soldier shouted angrily. They originally thought that this operation would be easy, but now they are in a desperate situation. Under the fierce attack from the Chen family's children, the beautiful soldiers began to retreat steadily. Their defenses gradually collapsed and casualties continued to increase. This sudden attack caught them off guard and left them completely powerless to fight back. Mom, I want to go home. I want to go home. Countless powerful attacks fell on them, and the soldiers of the beautiful country had no time to fight back before being wiped out. At the same time, in the void, Chen Tianao and others casually killed the two great emperors of the beautiful country. Yes, it was very casual. Not far from the Chen family, hurry up. Support the Chen family. If something happens to my boss, it will turn the whole country upside down. Ji Chenge shouted. Leading the Ji family, they rushed towards the Chen family in a mighty manner. Ling'er, all the invading enemies this time have been destroyed, Chen Tianao said, holding a head in one hand. Chen Ling nodded, stood up from the throne, and looked in the direction of the Presbyterian Council, this Presbyterian Council has been against us time and time again. Maybe the Black Dragon Council's assassination was also their work. Let me go meet these so-called high-level officials for a while. Chen Ling finished speaking and disappeared in front of everyone. Boss, I'm here to support you. Ji Chenge brought people to Chen's house, but the scene in front of him made him a little dumbfounded. The Chen family members have been cleaning the battlefield for a long time, and they are all talking and laughing. This, young master, 
the family elder next to Ji Chenge hesitated. At this time, Chen Tianao noticed them, Ji family. Could it be that they are also here to plot against my Chen family? As soon as these words came out, all the Chen family members stopped what they were doing and turned to look at Ji Chenge and the others. Ji Chenge broke into a cold sweat as he was stared at everyone. You have misunderstood. I am young Master Ling's younger brother. I heard that the Chen family is in trouble, so I came here to support. Chen Tianao stared at him suspiciously. Seeing this, Xie Ziqing cupped his hands and said, Master, he is indeed Mr. Ling's younger brother. I can testify. Chen Tianao then withdrew his gaze, the intruder has been destroyed. You can go back. Ahem. Ji Chenge choked, the head of the Chen family, is here this time, and my Ji family wants to join the Chen family. I don't know if I can. Young master, didn't we agree to cooperate? The family elder suddenly said. What's wrong with you? Ji Chenge scolded him in a low voice, I don't know. Master Chen. That's right. After Chen Tianao said that, he turned and left. Ji Chenge was overjoyed. Finally he could do things honorably for his master. Presbyterian, is something going to happen? The fifth elder said solemnly. Xin Zhenghao said nonchalantly, No, don't worry, the people sent by the beautiful country are very strong this time. At this time, there was a knock on the door. Look, I'm just saying, here's the news. After Xin Zheng finished speaking, he stood up and opened the door. However, when he opened the door, there was no one outside. Who the hell is doing these tricks? Xin Zheng cursed. Returning to his seat, he said, some tricks done by mice. Let's continue to wait for news. Why don't you talk? What happened? Xin Zheng asked in confusion when he saw that everyone was silent for a long time. The fourth elder gave him a look. Xin Zheng looked and saw Chen Ling sitting there arrogantly. After Xin Zheng saw Chen Ling, anger suddenly surged in his heart. Because several previous assassination attempts by the Black Dragon Society had failed, and all of this was thanks to the young man in front of him. He felt that he was very shameless and could not help but gnashed his teeth in hatred towards Chen Ling. Boy from the Chen family. Don't you know where this place is? Xin Zheng raised the corners of his mouth slightly, revealing a contemptuous smile. Chen Ling, however, seemed unusually calm and composed. He raised his legs high and placed them on the conference table, then crossed his arms and replied leisurely. Of course you know, this is the Presbyterian Church. Although we have never met before, you must all know the things about the Black Dragon Club. This sentence made Xin Zheng's heart skip a beat, and he thought to himself, could it be that this kid has noticed something? But he still pretended to be calm on the surface. The first elder on the side remained silent, his eyes fixed on Chen Ling, trying to get some clues from him. However, no matter how he looked, he could not see through this young man. At this time, Xin Zheng burst out laughing and admitted triumphantly, Ha ha, yes. It was I who sent the Black Dragon Society to assassinate you. But even if you have understood the truth, what can you do? For a conceited guy like you to dare to come here alone, I'm afraid he didn't bring any guards. Chen Ling smiled slightly and responded in a calm tone, Yes, I did not bring a guard. So, Elder Xin Zheng, what are you going to do? There was a dead silence in the entire conference room, you could hear a needle drop, and the atmosphere was extremely solemn. Everyone focused their eyes on Chen Ling, with doubts, questions, and hatred. Boy, I heard before that you have broken through to the saint realm. You are indeed talented. If we give you a little more time, maybe we won't be able to do anything to you. Xin Zheng stood up slowly and said with a gloomy face. He slowly stepped forward, walking towards Chen Ling step by step. The floor under his feet creaked with every step he took. What a pity, your pride is doomed to ruin you here. Don't try to get the Chen family to save you, they probably can't save themselves. Xin Zheng's tone was full of ridicule and disdain. Chen Ling did not speak, but looked at Xin Zheng quietly, with the corners of his mouth raised slightly, revealing an imperceptible smile. Seeing Chen Ling's expression, Xin Zheng felt a surge of anger in his heart. He felt that he had been greatly insulted. So, he no longer hesitated and took action directly. The Saint King Realm's cultivation exploded with all his strength, reaching out to grab Chen Ling's neck. However, just when Xin Zheng's hand was about to touch Chen Ling's neck, 
Suddenly, a transparent light curtain appeared in front of Chen Ling. This light curtain was like an extremely hard shield, blocking Xin Zheng's attack, making it impossible for his hand to move forward at all. What? The four elders exclaimed at the same time, their faces full of shock. They originally thought that Chen Ling had given up resistance, but they didn't expect that he still had such powerful means. Chen Ling waved his hand, and Xin Zheng was blown away like a kite with its string broken, and was firmly embedded in the wall. However, before Xin Zheng could react, Chen Ling stretched out his hand to suck again. Xin Zheng was easily pinched by his neck like a toy. Elder Xin, you can't be too greedy as a human being. I, the Chen family, gave you the position of elder, not just to devour the master. Chen Ling had an indifferent look on his face, and his tone was so cold that it seemed like it could freeze. Stiff air. Xin Zheng struggled desperately, but with his throat pinched, he couldn't breathe at all, and his face became increasingly blue. You, child of the Chen family, who is willing to be your Chen family's dog for the rest of your life. People always have their own goals. Chen Ling put her face close to his ear and sneered, you have to understand one thing. All the status and power you have today were given to you by the Chen family. Without the Chen family, you would not even be able to reach this highest peak. Untouchable. People are always dissatisfied with the status quo. Greed can drive people into madness. Tisk, 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 it's true. Chen Ling's eyes were full of ridicule and disdain. Chen Ling's hand was like an iron pliers, tightening tighter and tighter. Xin Zheng's face was full of pain. He grabbed Chen Ling's big hand with both hands, but he couldn't break free at all. His face turned red, his eyes gradually turned white, and the spiritual power in his body also disappeared. Being suppressed and unable to move. Go to hell. I will completely obliterate your soul so that you will never be reincarnated again. Chen Ling's voice was extremely cold, as if it came from the Nine Nether Hell. After saying that, he exerted force suddenly, and there was a crisp click. Xin Zheng's neck was broken, and his head hung down weakly. Chen Ling looked at the corpse in front of him expressionlessly, with no emotion in his heart. Then, he summoned the heavenly demon Mosquito, which pounced on Xin Zheng's body like a hungry wolf, frantically sucking his flesh, blood and soul. After dealing with Xin Zheng, Chen Ling slowly turned his head and looked at the other elders coldly, with a cold light in his eyes, and said in a serious tone, I actually don't like killing, I just have to do it. So, give me if you have a chance, either surrender to me or die like him. The fourth elder and the fifth elder looked pale. They looked at each other, and then turned their attention to the first elder, seeming to be waiting for his decision. The first elder was silent for a moment. His originally straight back was now slightly bent, looking very tired. He let out a long sigh as if he had aged a lot in an instant, oh, I am willing to surrender to you. Master Ling. After hearing the words of the first elder, the other two elders also expressed their willingness to surrender. Chen Ling smiled and said, I know you still have other thoughts, so I need to add something to your heads. Without waiting for the three people to react, Chen Ling put his fingers together and whispered, Dao Heart Seed Demon. Three rays of red light penetrated into their sea of consciousness, and within a moment, they took root inside. The three people naturally felt something strange, but they were unable to resist. Tell me, besides beautiful country, which other countries have you cooperated with? Chen Ling asked directly. Young Master Ling, there is also the Eagle Sauce country, the Kimchi country, and the Kangaroo country, the first elder replied. You guys are really low level. You actually cooperated with the kimchi country. Tisk, tisk, it's really embarrassing. Chen Ling spat mercilessly. What about Sakura country? Chen Ling asked again. We are not cooperating with them. Several people said at the same time. That's not bad. If you cooperate with Sakura country, it will be a shame that you will never be able to erase for the rest of your life, and I will crush your heads. Chen Ling said harshly. The three of them shuddered and did not dare to speak any more. On the way back to Chen's house, 18 Godfian elders suddenly appeared in front of Chen Ling. And in their hands, they were holding a person. The person looked pale and lifeless, and was obviously very frightened. Sir, all the Black Dragon Guild branches in China have been eradicated. Godfian Huan reported to Chen Ling respectfully, with reverence in his eyes. Chen Ling nodded with satisfaction and raised the corners of his mouth slightly, 
you have done a good job, thank you for your hard work. Then go to the Samsara Tower to improve your cultivation. The Great Sage Realm is not enough now. Upon hearing this, the eighteen Godfiend elders responded in unison, Thank you sir. Then they knelt down in unison to express their deep respect to Chen Ling. At this time, Godfiend Huan's voice sounded again, By the way, Master, I think this man is still useful, so I brought him to you, Master. As he said that, he threw the man he was holding to the ground. Chen Ling glanced at Godfiend Huan appreciatively, then turned to look at the motionless man lying on the ground. It turns out that this person is Lan Wangchuan who tried to escape before. He was trembling all over and closing his eyes tightly, as if he was afraid to face reality. Chen Ling reached out his hand without hesitation and slapped Lan Wangchuan twice hard on the face. The crisp sound of slaps echoed in the air, making everyone present look at him sideways. As these two slaps fell, Lan Wangchuan finally woke up. He looked around in horror and kept muttering, Don't kill me. Seeing his appearance, Chen Ling couldn't help but shook his head and said disappointedly, as the so-called vice president of the Black Dragon Society so timid. Godfiend Huan threw Lan Wangchuan to the ground like trash, and then kicked him on the back. Lan Wangchuan knelt in front of Chen Ling in a humiliating manner, with his forehead on the ground and not daring to raise his head. My lord, please spare my life. I still have value, please don't kill me. Lan Wangchuan quickly begged for mercy, his voice trembling. He knew that he was now on the verge of life and death, and the desire to survive continued to spread in his heart. A teasing smile appeared on Chen Ling's lips, and he asked lightly, Oh. Then tell me, what role do you play? If you don't have enough value, I'm afraid you will die. Hearing these words, Lan Wangchuan felt as if he had found a treasure. He quickly crawled forward a few steps, swallowed and said, Sir, I am actually just a vice president. This time I was sent to China to supervise the branch. But I know something about the president of the Black Dragon Society, and I can tell you some of his information and purposes. Chen Ling raised his hand slightly, indicating for him to continue speaking. The Black Dragon Society is distributed all over the world, and they have their sphere of influence in many places. However, all of this was planned by the president. Lan Wangchuan's tone was full of awe, as if he was talking about a terrifying existence. The president of the Black Dragon Society is named Yi Tianju. He founded the Black Dragon Society ten years ago, but no one knows how he got rich. The only thing that is certain is that he is very mysterious. When Yi Tianju was mentioned, Lan Wangchuan's pupils showed deep fear, and even his body trembled involuntarily. No one has ever seen him take action, because there are rumors that everyone who has seen him take action has died without exception. No matter how the Black Dragon Society spreads around the world, his ultimate goal is still China. Lan, a trace of fear and awe flashed in Wang Chuan's eyes. It is said that there is a magic circle hidden under the ground in China. This is the door to another world. Yi Tianju needs the power of these other worlds to help him rule Blue Star. Lan Wang Chuan said, with eyes in his eyes, full of fiery heat. After hearing this, Chen Ling thought for a moment, but according to what you said, he already has the strength to rule Blue Star, so why bother? My lord, I believe you also know that not to mention the entire Blue Star, just talking about China is very difficult. Now, the Great Emperor has awakened, but there are still many terrifying beings who are still sleeping. Lan Wangchuan raised his head and looked at Chen Ling. Once the Black Dragon Society launches a war, these beings will definitely not sit idly by. By then, the Black Dragon will suffer excessive losses, which is something Yi Tian never wants to see. Lan Wangchuan said. After listening to Lan Wangchuan's words, Chen Ling thought to himself, is the Dragon King returning? Or, the villain son of luck is a bit interesting. Your answer is very satisfying to me, so I'll give you a chance to surrender to me. After Chen Ling finished speaking, he didn't give Lan Wangchuan time to react, and directly used the method of cultivating demons in the heart of the Tao. Master, Lan Wangchuan said respectfully, Very good, now I give you an important task. You must pretend to fail, then quickly return to the headquarters of the Black Dragon Society and lurk next to Yi Tianju. Remember, don't expose any flaws and try to gain his trust. At the same time, you must truthfully report to him the actual situation on China's side, including my existence, our strength and plans, and all relevant information. 
Do you understand? Chen Ling gave orders seriously. Lan Wangchuan clasped his hands into his fists and bowed deeply to express his compliance. Then, his figure quietly disappeared into the night, carrying out his mission. At the same time, in a secret base on the border of China, a mysterious man in black robe sat quietly at a high place, looking indifferently at his subordinates who were training below. From time to time, he raised his glass and took a sip of the fragrant red wine. The corners of his mouth raised slightly, revealing a sly smile. The Chen family, you were so kind to destroy my Yi family back then. The man in black robe murmured to himself, with hatred and ambition shining in his eyes. Don't worry, it's almost. I'll be back, Yi Tianju whispered, holding the red wine glass in his hand tightly and crushing it hard. The red wine spilled out and stained his black robe, but he didn't care. His eyes were firm and cold, as if he had seen the dawn of revenge. After Chen Ling returned to the Chen family, he took 18 Godfiend elders into the reincarnation tower. He settled these Godfiend elders in the hall, and then called Chen Tianao and others together. Chen Tianao couldn't wait to ask Chen Ling, as the matter finished. Ling Er. Chen Ling smiled and replied, The Presbyterian Church is completely under my control. Then, Chen Ling said to everyone with a solemn look, Next, our most important task is to go all out to practice and quickly improve our cultivation. Because soon, there may be a fierce battle waiting for us. Chen Ling looked at everyone firmly, then turned to look at his brothers and sisters, and warned, you have a special physique that can help you break through the realm quickly. You must break through to the great emperor realm as soon as possible. Chen Xiao confidently patted Chen Ling on the shoulder and said, don't worry, Xiao Ling. Your brother, I will never let you down. Chen Cici on the side was not to be outdone, she jumped up and said loudly, there is me too. There is me too, Cici works very hard too. Chen Ling gently touched Chen Cici's head and encouraged her, come on. In the far western continent, there is a country called Beautiful Country. Its capital is Washungdun Special Zone, and the famous White Palace is located here. At this moment, a high-level meeting was being held in this solemn building, with many government officials gathered together. In front of the long conference table, various officials were sitting, discussing the current situation with serious expressions. One of the senior officials looked embarrassed and said hesitantly, Mr. President, our operation failed. The person sitting at the head of the table clasped his hands and put them on the table, leaning his chin gently on it, with a trace of exhaustion on his face. He nodded slightly, indicating that he understood the situation, and comforted, Well, I understand, China is a mysterious country, and it is normal to fail. It would be strange if it succeeded. The president of a beautiful country spoke calmly, as if he had already expected such a result. After hearing this, a group of senior officials began to whisper and discuss in low voices. At this time, the senior official who just reported the failure stood up again and shouted emotionally, this is a shame for our beautiful country. We can't just give up and must regain our dignity from China. That's right, send a large army to attack China. Let them see how powerful we are. Another senior official agreed. Don't be afraid of China's top leaders, they are just a group of weak and incompetent people someone said contemptuously. However, the president was not swayed by the radical rhetoric. After being silent for a moment, he slowly said, China's top leaders are indeed nothing to be afraid of, but those aristocratic families have to be on guard, especially the legendary Chen family, which needs special attention. There was a hint of worry and wariness in his eyes. At this moment, there was only a crisp cracking sound, and the glass window of the conference room suddenly shattered, with countless glass shards flying everywhere. Through the broken window, sunlight poured into the room, illuminating three stalwart figures. Oh, they are all gathered together. It seems that I came at the right time. Chen Ling raised the corners of his mouth slightly, revealing a playful smile. That's right, after settling down everyone in the Chen family, Chen Ling led Tianyi and Tiong, who had the cultivation of the emperor realm, to the beautiful country without stopping. If you have a grudge, report it on the spot, without any delay or hesitation. HMPH, who are you? How dare you trespass into this important place of a beautiful country? Are you tired of living? A senior official stepped forward, his eyes wide open, pointing at Chen Ling and asked. Hurry and report to the great emperor of our country. 
In an instant, three powerful men from the Great Emperor realm appeared in the sky, forming a confrontation with Chen Ling and others. Oops, I originally wanted to be polite to you, but you don't seem to appreciate it. In that case, don't blame me for being rude. Chen Ling chuckled, with a hint of contempt in his tone. HMPH, you braggart, tell me your name. One of the beautiful great emperors hummed. Tiandu, Chen family. Chen Ling pointed at them with his bleeding sword and said coldly. The senior officials below exploded. Tiandu Chen family, isn't it the target of our action? I'm here for revenge. So what? They can't make any waves on the territory of my beautiful country. Yes, don't forget, we have three great emperors. This is the territory of our beautiful country. The president took a step forward, this distinguished guest from China. It is not our original intention to take action against your Chen family, but it is the request of your Chinese Presbyterian council. Chen Ling smiled. Oh, really? However, these are not important anymore. What is important is that you all have to die today. The president's face changed. Don't be too arrogant. This is a beautiful country. It's not your China. Chen Ling said, I know. But so what? I have dealt with those old men you mentioned, killing those who deserved and beating those who deserved. Now, it's time to settle the accounts with you. After Chen Ling finished speaking, the Great Emperor Realm's cultivation level exploded. Tianyi took action at the same time, but Tiong did not move. The president was shocked. Such a young Great Emperor Realm. Chen Ling said, Are you surprised? Don't you have a beautiful country? The president quickly shouted, Quick! Activate the defense system. As soon as he finished speaking, the entire White House was enveloped by a thick energy shield. Chen Ling sneered, You want to stop me just because of this? With a wave of the blood sword in his hand, a bloody sword energy directly broke through the energy shield. The president looked at this scene in horror, his heart filled with despair. Chen Ling said, No one can save you now. He walked towards the president step by step, with cold murderous intent flashing in his eyes. Rampant, the great emperor of beautiful country roared angrily, and his momentum suddenly exploded, charging towards them. Chaos Godfiend body, open, Chen Ling shouted, and the Godfiend law manifestation in his body was instantly activated, and a huge shadow appeared behind him. As his cultivation level breaks through to the great emperor realm, his Godfiend law manifestation becomes more powerful, and his aura is as majestic as the abyss. At this time, the sky across the beautiful country seemed to be swallowed up by darkness, night enveloped the earth, and a bloody moon hung high in the sky, as if the end of the world was coming. Such a scene frightened the native residents of beautiful country, and their eyes were full of uneasiness and fear. Such a powerful force is beyond their knowledge. At this moment, under the white palace, the several long dead bodies soaked in the ice pool began to appear abnormal. Their bodies were trembling slightly, as if there was some mysterious force driving them to wake up. Impossible. When did China have such a genius? Didn't the so-called Chen Ling break through to the saint not long ago? How could there be a genius stronger than him? The president said in shock. Chen Ling looked at the president, the corners of his mouth raised slightly, revealing a faint smile. He shook his head slightly, seeming a little laughable at the president's ignorance. However, at this moment, Chen Ling suddenly took action. With a wave of the sword in his hand, a sharp sword energy rushed towards the president. This sword energy was extremely fast and powerful. It instantly frightened the president so much that he turned pale and quickly retreated. At the same time, Chen Ling's voice also sounded in the air, with a hint of teasing and ridicule, is there a possibility that I am the Chen Ling you call me? Hearing these words, the president's face became even more ugly. He widened his eyes and looked at Chen Ling in disbelief, his heart filled with shock and fear. At this time, Chen Ling's attack did not stop. He waved the sword in his hand again and performed two Godfian slashes. Following Chen Ling's movements, two sword lights, black and white, passed by quickly, like two giant dragons, majestic. The two great emperors in front of Chen Ling quickly used various defensive methods to try to withstand the blow. However, they underestimated Chen Ling's strength. The power of Godfian's two slashes far exceeded their imagination. In the blink of an eye, their shields were easily broken, and the sword light passed through their bodies like lightning, heading straight towards the white palace behind them. This sudden change caught everyone off guard, and the scene was in chaos. Boom! 
there was an explosion, and the sword light passed through the upper body of the palace. It seemed to have no power. But suddenly, a crack appeared, and the upper body of the palace slowly slipped off. It fell to the ground, splashing countless dust. The senior official of the beautiful country who was standing aside was shocked and embarrassed. Looking back, I saw that the upper body of the palace had disappeared, and only the smooth incision was still glowing with a faint black and white light. Chapter 71 At this moment, the three great emperors from the beautiful country seemed a little powerless. Chen Ling alone put them in trouble. Not to mention the heavenly emperor level Tianyi next to him who barely made any move, and the mysterious middle-aged man standing at the end. The three beautiful great emperors looked at each other, one of them stepped forward, and the other two retreated behind him. At the same time, they gathered a powerful spiritual energy in their hands and slapped the leader on the back. In an instant, the strength of the leader great emperor increased dramatically. He held his hands tightly, and blue energy fluctuations continued to gather. It's interesting. If that's the case, then I won't play children's games with you anymore. Chaos is gone. As soon as Chen Ling finished speaking, two auras, one white and one black, quickly gathered around him. Finally, these two forces merged into his eyes. Vaguely, bright red lightning could be seen flashing in his eyes. Ah, die to me. The great emperor of the beautiful country showed a ferocious look on his face, and as his hands danced, a terrifying force surged out. I saw him and two other strong men teaming up to perform a unique move. A blue beam of light rose into the sky like an angry dragon, roaring towards Chen Ling with the aura of destroying everything. Facing such a powerful offensive, Chen Ling's expression remained unchanged, with a hint of coldness flashing in his eyes. He shouted softly, Destroy! Then, two bright rays of light shot out from his eyes, like two meteors streaking across the sky, colliding hard with the blue light pillar. In an instant, the entire space seemed to be torn apart, and endless ripples of energy surged around. The attacks of both sides were in a stalemate, and it was difficult to tell the winner for a while. However, the huge shock wave generated by the collision of these two terrifying attacks made everything around them tremble. Centered on the collision point, the ground for miles around sank violently, forming a bottomless pit. Even the magnificent White Palace was not spared, its foundation collapsed and was on the verge of collapse. The president stood in front of the palace square, watching his beloved palace suffer heavy damage. His heart ached and he couldn't help but grit his teeth. This palace is his pride. Ah, the beautiful country's great emperor roared angrily, with veins popping up on his forehead. It was obvious that he had reached his limit. He tried his best to support this terrifying power, but in the end he was still unable to do so. On the other hand, Chen Ling looked calm and seemed not to be affected at all. He continuously input spiritual energy and dealt with this fierce duel with ease. You must know that Chen Ling had used Godfian just now, making his spiritual energy extremely abundant and inexhaustible. Going against him is simply asking for death. Since ancient times, I have been losing to the left side of the wave. The netizens in my previous life really did not deceive me. Bang! The chaotic light was like a fire dragon, instantly piercing through the bodies of the three beautiful great emperors. The extremely hot temperature directly vaporized them without a trace. This terrifying power is simply unimaginable. No, impossible. The president looked at the scene in front of him with blank eyes, as if he couldn't believe what he saw. He never imagined that three powerful great emperors would be defeated in an instant. The senior officials were also shocked and speechless, their eyes widened with disbelief on their faces. Their hearts are full of doubts and fears. Chen Ling slowly floated down in front of them, his eyes were cold and firm, and he said word by word, Actually, if you hadn't taken the initiative to come to the door, I might not have argued too much with you. But since you have chosen to provoke the Chen family, then you must bear the consequences. It's a pity that your calculation was wrong this time, and there will never be a second chance. Now, please die. After saying that, Chen Ling was ready to take action to completely eliminate these people. Hearing this, the president of the beautiful country turned pale with fright, his legs softened, and he almost fell to the ground. He quickly begged for mercy. No, you can't do this to us. Those wealthy families are the most powerful beings in the beautiful country. If you dare to touch us, they will never let you go. Ha ha, so what, I believe they don't want to offend a powerful enemy. 
At least, that's the case for now. A cold smile appeared on the corner of Chen Ling's mouth, and the blood sword in his hand drew a blood red arc in the air. In an instant, the heads of hundreds of high ranking officials and holy guards rolled to the ground like ripe fruits, and their blood spilled out, staining the entire White Palace Square red. This originally pristine white square was now soaked in blood, as if it had become a strange and bloody picture. Every drop of blood is like a blooming flower of hell, blooming mercilessly with the breath of death and destruction on this land. Chen Ling's eyes were cold, and he summoned the heavenly demon Mosquito. When the demon Mosquito saw so many corpses, its eyes shone with greed and even turned green. It couldn't wait to rush forward, sucking in the fresh blood and soul. Every sip is a kind of enjoyment, let it be immersed in and unable to extricate itself. Chen Ling looked at the scene in front of him and sighed secretly, it's a pity. The current level is too low, otherwise, I really want to destroy the entire beautiful country. There was a trace of unwillingness in his tone. Regretful, but also with expectations for the future. However, at this moment, several powerful auras suddenly locked onto Chen Ling. These auras have at least reached the Heavenly Emperor level, and obviously come from those powerful men hiding in the dark. Chen Ling frowned slightly, a look of impatience flashed in his eyes. Ha, huh, you rats are the most annoying. Chen Ling shouted angrily, and the cultivation of Emperor Realm, the God of Heaven, exploded instantly, and an invisible force spread around like a tide, interrupting the prying eyes. At the same time, in a luxurious mansion somewhere in the beautiful country, several old men were sitting together in a secret room. Suddenly, one of them spurted out a mouthful of blood, and his body began to tremble violently. Hiss, that man is so strong. God Emperor Realm Cultivation. This matter needs to be considered in the long term. After doing all this, Chen Ling took Tianyi and Tiank and left quietly, as if nothing had happened. However, at this time, the beautiful country has fallen into chaos. The media quickly reported the incident, causing an uproar across the world. However, despite their best efforts, investigators were unable to find any clues. Eventually, the storm gradually subsided. Chen Ling had already returned to China with Tianyi and Tiank. For him, this action is just a small warning to those who dare to provoke his Chen family. As time goes by, this matter gradually fades out of people's sight. However, whenever someone mentions this matter, they can't help but sigh, who is that mysterious strong man? After killing the senior officials of beautiful country, Chen Ling began to practice in seclusion, which lasted for a whole month. During this period of time, his cultivation level has been greatly improved, breaking through from the previous middle stage of the great emperor realm to the later stage. However, for him, this speed of cultivation still cannot meet his expectations. After all, if you want to explore the mysterious and unpredictable world of the heavens, such cultivation is obviously not enough. At the same time, Beautiful Country also held a grand press conference half a month ago. They claimed that the attack that shocked the world was the work of a group of terrorists. Moreover, they quickly appointed a group of new senior officials and rebuilt the once glorious White Palace. Nowadays, this palace is no longer pure white, but has been painted black. It may be called the, Black Palace. What is even more noteworthy is that they did not disclose Chen Ling's true identity to the public. This was probably a sign of goodwill, implying that they did not want to be enemies with Chen Ling. As time went by, Chen Ling realized that he needed to find more children of luck to help him grow faster. So, he embarked on a new journey without hesitation and disappeared into the Chen family. In White Tiger University, many students gathered under a dual ring, making it very lively. At this moment, a burly, fierce-looking man was having a fierce duel with an unattractive-looking young man. Han Zhang, no matter how hard you practice, you can't beat me. Hand over the treasures you obtained from the secret realm. The fierce man held a big sword and laughed loudly, his voice deafening. Han Zhang did not answer his words, but secretly thought in his heart, no, the cultivation level of second layer in the Dao First Realm is still unable to defeat him. It seems that we need to release more power. Moreover, the magic circle also needs to apply three. The Qingyuan Sword Formation, the Golden Spirit Binding Killing Formation, and the Soul Eating Trap Formation must stabilize the situation. We must not take it lightly. Han Zhang and Yan Kun started a fierce battle, but in the dark, Han Zhang quietly arranged three magic formations. 
This move was really a bit lame. Yan Kun, an idiot, naturally couldn't notice Han Zheng's little moves. He shouted angrily, Han Zheng, if you have the guts, confront me head on. Don't run around like a monkey. It's so annoying. At this moment, Han Zheng just completed the last formation pattern, and the corners of his mouth slightly raised, revealing a smile, as you wish. Before he finished speaking, Han Zheng rushed towards Yan Kun without hesitation. At this time, high in the sky, Chen Ling was quietly observing the fierce battle, with a faint smile on his face. Interesting, is this a son of steady luck? Chen Ling scanned his personal panel. Name, Han Zheng. Age, 21. Realm, Dao Yi Realm 4th Layer, Saint Realm 1st Layer. No special constitution. Luck level, level 6 purple, luck colors, black, white, yellow, green, blue, purple, red, gold, color. Cultivation techniques. Qingyuan Ju, Sword Transformation Sanqing, Intermediate Alchemy Training Techniques. Weapons and Items. Escape Talisman X99, Camouflage Talisman X99, Healing Pill X999, Green Edge Sword. Goldfinger. The mysterious blue bottle can produce a special divine liquid over a period of time, which can be used to nourish spiritual objects or for self-cultivation. It is mysterious and unpredictable. Evaluation. After more than 10 years of hard work, I have finally made some achievements. I work alone. Some time ago, I broke through to the realm of a saint. I have a lot of knowledge, know people's hearts, understand stability, and run away when encountering problems. Han Zheng, offending me is the most wrong thing you have ever done in your life. The tiger roars in the Kangshan Mountains. As Yan Kun shouted angrily, he spread his legs apart and emitted a golden sound wave from his mouth. This sound wave carried the powerful force rushed towards Han Zheng like a fierce tiger. Han Zheng did not panic, he responded calmly, and disappeared in front of Yan Kun in a flash. At the same time, the Qingfeng sword in his hand stirred up several sword flowers in the air. Each sword flower contained sharp sword energy. These sword energy cut through the air and instantly destroyed the sound waves emitted by Yan Kun. Yan Kun was shocked. He didn't expect that his trick could be cracked so easily. What surprised him even more was that the sword energy that had not dissipated was rushing towards him at an extremely fast speed, as if it was going to tear him apart. He didn't have time to think too much and immediately used his defensive moves, hoping to use this move to resist Han Zhang's attack. Only a loud, bang, was heard, thick smoke billowed up, and the whole scene became chaotic. Everyone below was watching this scene nervously, their hearts were in their throats, and they didn't even dare to breathe. Han Zhang, on the other hand, stared closely at Yan Kun in the thick smoke. He knew that this battle had just begun. Ahem, you're so well hidden, you deserve to be someone who came out of the secret realm. But, you've completely angered me. Yan Kun coughed a few times, with a hint of anger and unwillingness in his voice. As the thick smoke gradually dissipated, everyone finally saw Yan Kun's figure clearly. I saw that he looked very embarrassed at this time, his clothes were ragged, his hair was blown into curls, and he looked very funny. However, at this moment, Yan Kun suddenly took out a red pill and swallowed it without hesitation. The warning signal in Han Zhang's heart became stronger and stronger, as if there was an invisible force telling him that danger was approaching. He took a few steps back without hesitation, squatted slightly, and assumed a vigilant fighting posture. The aura on Yan Kun's body was like a volcano erupting, rising at an alarming rate. In the blink of an eye, his cultivation has broken through to the ninth layer, and his powerful momentum makes people shudder. Die, Yan Kun roared, his hands quickly turned into sharp claws, and he rushed towards Han Zhang with fierce killing intent. Han Zhang frowned, a trace of doubt and regret flashed in his eyes. He stared at Yan Kun and said solemnly, You actually took that explosive elixir. Although it can temporarily improve your strength, it also means that your future cultivation path will be cut off. Is it really worth it? However, Yan Kun turned a deaf ear to Han Zheng's words, and his laughter was full of madness and determination. Ha ha ha, I have no way out. So, please go die. Han Zheng nimbly avoided Yan Kun's ferocious attacks, always remaining calm and vigilant. He knew that Yan Kun was in extremely dangerous condition at this time and could not easily confront him head on. As time went by, Yan Kun finally stepped into the center of the arena. 
A glimmer of light flashed in Han Zheng's eyes. He quickly formed seals with his hands and murmured, Ching Yuan Sword Formation, Golden Spirit Binding Killing Formation, Soul Eating Trap Formation. Start. As soon as he finished speaking, three colorful lights suddenly lit up, showing cyan, gold and black respectively. These three rays of light quickly intertwined to form a huge magic circle, tightly surrounding Yan Kun. The magic circle began to move rapidly, releasing powerful energy fluctuations. Han Zheng continuously injected spiritual energy into the magic circle to maintain its stable operation. As the magic circle rotated, Yan Kun felt unprecedented pressure. His movements gradually became sluggish, and his eyes showed panic. The phantoms of divine swords, carrying fierce sword energy, shot towards Yan Kun like raindrops. At the same time, golden formations of light floated out from all directions like agile swimming dragons, instantly intertwining into dense golden patterns, tightly binding Yan Kun within them, making him unable to move at all. Immediately afterwards, the soul-eating trap came into play, and mysterious lights flashed like a large invisible net, tightly trapping Yan Kun's soul. Kill, Han Zheng whispered one word in his mouth, his voice cold and firm. In an instant, three formations of light shined simultaneously, and the light was dazzling. Yan Kun's pupils lost their luster, his body became stiff, and he fell to the ground with a plop, as if he had lost any sign of life. Han Zheng stepped forward cautiously, scanning the surroundings with vigilant eyes to prevent any accidents from happening. He stretched out his palm, and a blazing real fire emerged from his palm. The hot temperature made the surrounding air slightly distorted. He threw the real fire at Yan Kun's body without hesitation. The flames spread quickly and completely engulfed Yan Kun's body in the blink of an eye. Under the burning of the real fire, Yan Kun's body gradually turned into ashes, drifted in the wind, and finally disappeared without a trace, as if it had never existed. Han Zheng, win, the referee said, swallowing his saliva. But there was silence below, no one spoke. Han Zheng listened to the referee's announcement with no expression on his face, as if this was just an ordinary battle. He didn't like such high-profile occasions, but this battle with Yan Kun forced him to reveal his true strength. He has always kept a low profile, but unfortunately this time Yan Kun came with the intention of killing him, and he could no longer hide it. Now, he has become famous in White Tiger Academy. People are afraid of being famous, and pigs are afraid of being strong. Once he becomes famous, all kinds of troubles will follow. It seems that I have to pretend again in the future. Han Zheng murmured to himself. Just as he was about to leave the ring, a figure appeared in front of him, Chen Ling. Chen Ling stood above the ring, overlooking the crowd below, and shouted loudly, Chen Ling of Qinglong University is here to challenge the geniuses of White Tiger University. His voice echoed in the air, causing a sensation. As soon as this statement came out, the audience immediately exploded. What, people from Qinglong University actually dare to challenge us? Are you tired of living? Wait, I think I heard you right. He just said. Dot his name is Chen Ling. That's right, you heard it right, it's the god of death. It's really him. Hiss. The referee silently looked Chen Ling up and down, then quietly put a hand behind his back and quickly sent a message to the school's senior officials. Chen Ling naturally noticed his little move, but he didn't pay attention to it. Instead, he stared at Han Zheng with a smile on his face, as if he was looking at a piece of fat that was about to be obtained. I wonder if this classmate has the courage to challenge me, Chen Ling said to Han Zheng with a smile. Han Zheng looked at Chen Ling solemnly, and an ominous premonition surged in his heart. If he really agreed to a duel with Chen Ling, the only outcome waiting for him would be death. I'm sorry. Classmate Chen Ling, I've already fought once today, and my spiritual energy has been somewhat depleted. I really can't sustain the second battle. Besides, I'm not the genius of White Tiger University. Han Zheng said, clasping his fists. Just when he was about to leave, an invisible force choked him, making him unable to move. Did I say let you go? It's really disrespectful. Chen Ling said coldly, why, you don't want to give me face? Or... Dot you don't take me seriously at all. Han Zheng broke out in a cold sweat, and the aura in his body continued to weaken, while the mysterious blue bottle continued to circulate in his body to make up for the shortfall in his body. This classmate Chen Ling, are you going too far? 
Han Zheng said that his spiritual energy has been depleted, so you are being a little aggressive. The referee jumped out and stood in front of Han Zheng. Chen Ling took a look at him. He was a referee from the Holy King realm, but he didn't take it seriously yet. I came here today with full sincerity to promote exchanges and friendship between the two schools. But, are you telling lies? Chen Ling was slightly angry. This Han Zheng doesn't have any spiritual energy consumption. He didn't even use his full strength just now. Tisk tisk, the cultivation level of Saint Realm is only the fourth layer of Taoist Realm. Classmate Han Zheng, you, are a little too steady. Han Zheng's brows jumped and he looked at Chen Ling with surprise. Seeing his reaction, the people watching below were shocked again. What? Han Zheng is a saint. All go, hide it deeply. The referee also looked at Han Zheng with a puzzled expression. Han Zheng's eyes were a little displeased. Chen Ling exposed his cultivation level in front of everyone. How would he pretend to be? Isn't this cool? Han Zheng walked up to the referee and looked at Chen Ling firmly, Chen Ling. I. Just when Chen Ling thought he was going to agree to the duel, Han Zheng's next word silenced him for an instant. I give up. You win. Han Zheng said expressionlessly, as if he was just stating a fact. Chen Ling's hands clenched tightly into fists, and a ball of anger arose in his heart. This was the first time that he was so angry when he encountered such a son of fate. This Han Zheng actually gave up so easily, which made him feel very angry and humiliated. How dare you? You dare to humiliate me. Go to hell. Chen Ling roared angrily and released his great emperor realm cultivation without hesitation, and a powerful force burst out from him. He waved his palm, and a sharp palm wind struck Han Zheng hard. Han Zheng's heart beat rapidly and he felt an unprecedented danger. He didn't care about anything else and hurriedly took out his escape talisman to escape from this place. However, what shocked him was that no matter how he used the escape talisman, he could not leave this space, as if it had been blocked by some kind of force. HMPH, so what can you do no matter how steady you are? I've already expected you to run away. Chen Ling snorted coldly, with a trace of disdain flashing in his eyes. Han Zheng tried his best, but it was of no use. Just when he thought he was going to die, a sword light broke the shadow of Chen Ling's giant palm. Han Zheng breathed a sigh of relief and looked at the direction of the attack. A group of old men came out of the air. Junior, is this move too much? shouted the person who made the move. Behind him, the president of White Tiger University and other senior officials glared at Chen Ling. Chen Ling smiled slightly, it turned out that reinforcements had arrived, but unfortunately, he wanted to kill Han Zheng today, and no one could stop him. Bai Hesheng, the founder of White Tiger University. Interesting, interesting. Chen Ling revealed his identity in one word. Bai Hesheng probed Chen Ling's cultivation level and was shocked. Great Emperor Realm. So young. You know me, little friend. Can you please let me go for my sake? Bai Hesheng continued. Just when everyone thought Chen Ling was about to relent, he said bluntly, No. You, the principal of White Tiger University was anxious, how dare this man deny Bai He face? Even if he is from the Chen family in Tiandu, it would be too rude to face a great emperor realm. Yes, Bai Hesheng is one of the great emperor realms who woke up a few months ago. Old man, I think you should know something. Chen Ling looked at Bai Jingjong and said. Bai Jingjong was puzzled, and Chen Ling continued to say word by word, the great emperor cannot be humiliated. After saying that, without giving anyone a reaction, he slapped Han Zheng to death. Han Zheng never thought until his death that Chen Ling would dare to kill him in front of so many people. As for the mysterious blue bottle, Chen Ling conveniently put it into the universe ring. De Wei, this is De Wei, this Chen Ling has broken through to the great emperor realm. How is it possible? Bai Jingjong said in horror. The school officials behind him also looked at Chen Ling in surprise. In just a few months, he first broke through to the saint realm. Then he broke through several major realms in succession and reached the great emperor realm. They had nothing to say. Chen Ling was the great emperor, and they knew that the great emperor should not be insulted. Although it was not Han Zheng's fault, it was the fact. And Han Zheng was not familiar with them. Naturally, the senior management of White Tiger University would have no objection to losing this dispensable person. This is human nature. Bai Hesheng's face was livid, 
staring at the godlike young man in the sky, his eyes full of shock and unwillingness. He was thinking to himself, well, after checking the look, this is definitely a person who cannot be beaten. At the same time, Chen Ling used his powerful soul power to carefully search the entire White Tiger University, trying to find more children of destiny. However, after some searching, he found that there were no other sons of destiny here, and he couldn't help but feel a sense of disappointment, is there only one son of destiny? It seems that White Tiger University is really not good. Without thinking any more, Chen Ling disappeared directly into the sky above White Tiger University without even looking at Bai Hesheng and the others. Everyone was left messy in the wind and at a loss. Bai Hesheng looked at the direction Chen Ling left and murmured to himself, the world has changed. He is indeed the king of genius. Lao Bai, are you going to let that kid come and go as he pleases? He doesn't take our White Tiger Academy seriously at all. Bai Jingjong said angrily on the side. Bai Hesheng shook his head, turned to look at the senior officials of White Tiger Academy, sighed deeply, and said slowly. Did you know that not long ago, the beautiful country planned to attack the Chen family, and what was the result? They dispatched more than a thousand saint realm experts, as well as many saint kings, great sages, and even great emperor realm experts. But in the end, they all fell, and the Chen family was unscathed. And, after that, all the top leaders of the beautiful country were destroyed, and even the White Palace was reduced to ruins. Everyone listened to Bai Hesheng's words, their pupils shrank, and a mentor with glasses said, we can't afford to offend him, but there is still the Chinese Presbyterian Church, they shouldn't just sit back and watch the Chen family dominate. Bai Hesheng chuckled lightly, what you think is still too simple. On the surface, the Presbyterian Church has the most human rights and is extremely beautiful. Unfortunately, it is not under the control of others. The water here is very deep, and it is not accessible to people like us. If you don't pay attention, you will drown yourself. As a member of the older generation, Bai Hesheng naturally knows some secrets. The Chen family has been glorious for countless years, terrifying, profound, and impossible to see through. At this time, Chen Ling had already arrived in the sky above Vermilion Bird University. Without any delay, he shouted loudly, Chen Ling of Qinglong University is here to challenge the geniuses of Vermilion Bird University. The voice was like thunder, resounding throughout the entire place, campus. This sentence spread throughout Vermilion Bird University. Whether they were students practicing in the villa, students taking classes in the classroom, or students training on the dual field, they all stopped what they were doing and looked up. Towards the figure in the sky. There were expressions of surprise and confusion on their faces. They didn't understand why this student from Qinglong University suddenly appeared here and issued such a challenge. But the name Chen Ling seems familiar. Not only that, the higher-ups of the college were also alarmed. They quickly flew into the sky and confronted Chen Ling. Their eyes were full of doubts and questions, trying to figure out Chen Ling's purpose. Among them, an old woman with wrinkles on her face was the first to ask, I wonder why Master Chen Ling came to my Vermilion Bird University. She holds a red scepter and wears a delicate chain on her head. In the center of her eyebrows, there is a red spar hanging down, exuding a mysterious atmosphere. As the old woman finished speaking, more and more students flocked to the dual venue. They were all wearing bright red school uniforms, forming a sea of red. These students are the elite of Vermilion Bird University, and they are full of curiosity about this sudden challenge. Don't worry, old lady, I don't have any ill intentions. I just want to compete with the genius of your college. Chen Ling looked at the old man in front of him sincerely. His eyes were clear and firm, making it difficult to believe that he would have any bad intentions. Attempt. However, Shi Yuha was unmoved. She frowned, stared at Chen Ling for a moment, and then sneered, sparring. I'm afraid it's not that simple, I've heard of your name, Chen Ling. Let's talk to you those who fight will either surrender or, they will all die. Hearing this, Chen Ling smiled slightly and was not angry. Instead, he replied calmly, Old lady, what you said is right, but you have to know that you have to pay a price for dueling with me. This is reality, besides, the weak will eat the strong. You should be more aware of this truth than I am. Shi Yuha's face became very ugly after hearing this. She held the scepter in her hand tightly, a trace of anger flashing in her eyes. But soon, she regained her composure and said bluntly, 
Ha, Chen Ling, don't be so arrogant. I want to see today how capable you are and dare to say such big things. Chen Ling smiled indifferently, with a bit of confidence and calmness in his smile, as if he didn't care about the other party's attitude at all. Then, he slowly said, Old lady, you are right, but you have to know that you have to pay a price for dueling with me. This is inevitable. Moreover, the weak eat the strong, and the strong is respected. This world is so cruel, isn't it? After saying that, Chen Ling stopped talking and stood quietly, waiting for the other party's response. Shi Yuha was silent for a moment, and finally couldn't help but burst out. She glared at Chen Ling, raised the scepter in her hand, quickly formed seals with her hands, and a powerful aura emanated from her body. Okay, okay, you said this well, I will be disrespectful to you once today to confirm what you said. As her voice fell, the surrounding air seemed to solidify, and the atmosphere became extremely nervous. In an instant, the scepter in front of him spun rapidly like a windmill, thick fiery red spiritual energy gathered like a tide, and a third of the terrifying strength of Shi Yuha's great emperor realm was instantly released. Suddenly, she grabbed the scepter suddenly, and the stick emitted a dazzling fire, and struck Chen Ling hard with endless power. Chen Ling's face instantly turned cold, and his heart was full of irritation. It was like this every time, there were always some people who attacked him indiscriminately, which made him extremely bored. He slowly stretched out a hand, his fingers slightly bent, the space around him seemed to freeze, and time seemed to have stopped. Then, he flicked his fingers gently, and an invisible force burst out instantly. Boom, Shi Yu Ha's attack was shattered in an instant and dissipated invisible. What, how is that possible? Shi Yu Ha's eyes widened with a look of astonishment on her face. She couldn't believe her eyes. With just a snap of her fingers, Chen Ling defeated her attack so easily. You know, she is a powerful person in the great emperor realm. At this moment, everyone's eyes were firmly fixed on the sky above Vermilion Bird University, staring at the two figures, an old man and a young man. I can't be dreaming, Lao Zai's attack was easily broken by a young man. Someone murmured to himself in shock. Pa, a crisp slap sounded. Why did you hit me? The person who was beaten asked angrily. If you feel pain, then it proves that you are not dreaming. The attacker replied proudly. Anger surged in Chen Ling's heart. He never expected that this Shi Yuha would actually dare to attack him. Although everyone regards you as the king of genius, I don't think so. It's just that you have a better family background and more resources. In terms of hard work, you are definitely not as good as anyone else. Shi Yu Ha said sarcastically. At this moment, in White Tiger University, Bai Hesheng spit out a mouthful of tea and shouted in shock, What did you say? Chen Ling went to Vermilion Bird University. Yes, Mr. Bai, what's the problem? Bai Jingjong wiped the tea from his face and asked carefully. Bai Hesheng stood up suddenly and said solemnly, Now we are in big trouble. That old woman Shi Yu Ha will definitely take action. Chen Ling is a strong person in the later stage of the Great Emperor realm, and even I am not his opponent. Bai Hesheng walked around anxiously. After thinking for a while, he said firmly, No, I have to save her. Jing Zhang, White Tiger University is left to you. Yu Ha, wait for me. I'll come, got it. As soon as he finished speaking, Bai Hesheng's figure quickly disappeared. At this time, Shi Yu Ha unleashed her Great Emperor realm cultivation with all her might, and strong pressure covered the entire Vermilion Bird University like a tide. Everyone suddenly felt their bodies feel extremely heavy, and then an endless wave of heat hit them. Great Emperor Realm is in the middle stage. It's still too weak. Chen Ling shook his head slightly, the Chaos Godfiend body opened, and the Godfiend Law manifestation suddenly descended. In the blink of an eye, Shi Yu Ha's aura was completely suppressed. I didn't want to kill you people of the older generation, but it's a pity. I just wanted to compete with these geniuses, but you insist on provoking me, tisk tisk, then you can't blame me. Chen Ling's face was full of disappointment. He sighed, seeming to feel sorry for the situation in front of him. However, there was a hint of firmness and determination in his eyes. Today, another great emperor is about to fall. Chen Ling said softly, as if announcing an inevitable fate. His voice echoed in the air, with a kind of indifference and determination. The surrounding air seemed to become heavier because of these words. After Chen Ling finished speaking, a mysterious light appeared in his eyes. 
the light was as bright as a star, making people look at it. Eye of Godfian, Chen Ling shouted and his eyes suddenly opened. In an instant, a powerful force burst out from him and swept around. This space seems to be swallowed up, and the right eye is blood red with a red edge. Chen Ling raised his eyes and looked at Shi Yuha. In an instant, Shi Yuha felt as if something had strangled her soul and she couldn't move. It felt like facing a great terror, which filled her with fear. She was shaking all over, rolling her eyes, and her consciousness had reached the depths of her soul. Here, Shi Yuha saw a giant shadow reaching into the sky, wearing a bronze mask, exuding endless pressure. Under this figure, she was as small as an ant, and her heart was filled with despair. At this moment, the huge figure moved, and a huge palm slowly came down towards Shi Yuha with terrifying pressure. Shi Yuha wanted to struggle and resist, but found that she could not move at all. A sense of suffocation and helplessness kept flooding her heart. As the giant palm approached, Shi Yuha's face became as pale as paper, and her heart was filled with despair. The giant palm finally fell on Shi Yuha, smashing her soul into countless pieces. At the same time, in the outside world, the suction power of Chen Ling's magic eye suddenly exploded, instantly sucking all the fragments of Shi Yuha's soul into his body. With the integration of these fragments, Chen Ling's soul was greatly nourished and became stronger. Shi Yuha's body fell slowly, her eyes were empty and lifeless, as if she had lost all her vitality. Yuha, Bai Hesheng just arrived at Vermilion Bird University and witnessed this thrilling scene. His eyes widened and he couldn't believe what was happening in front of him. Bai Hesheng's heart instantly shattered into countless pieces. Shi Yuha had always been the object of his crush, and he had been silently in love with her for hundreds of years. But now, she died in front of him like this, making him unable to accept this cruel fact. With trembling steps, Bai Hesheng walked towards Shi Yuha's body with difficulty, seeing no one else but her. He stared blankly at the old woman lying on the ground, his heart filled with endless sadness and pain. Chen Ling looked at him and shook his head helplessly, it seems there are still crazy people in the world. Lao Shi fell, it's impossible, it's so easy, just one glance. Grandma Shi, a young man screamed loudly with tears on his face. Chen Ling naturally noticed him, you finally appeared, the son of fate. Then, Chen Ling turned his eyes, looked at Bai Hesheng and said, What, Mr. Bai, do you want to be like her? Or do you want revenge? Bai Hesheng gently covered Shi Yuha's eyes and said slowly, Mr. Chen, Bai doesn't dare, dot but please allow me to take away Yuha's body and bury it in peace. Bai Hesheng lowered his head, but he still did not dare to be an enemy of Chen Ling. That's right. Chen Ling spat out these two words, then stretched out his hand, and a huge palm phantom appeared in the sky, lifting the crying young man in the air. The young man's face was filled with tears. He had just arrived, but he witnessed the death of Shi Yuha with his own eyes. He was heartbroken with grief. Now that he was caught by Chen Ling, he was even more horrified. Let me go, you devil! Mo Yan struggled, but couldn't break free from Chen Ling's grasp. The corners of Chen Ling's mouth raised slightly, revealing a disdainful smile, Boy, your mouth is quite smelly. Mo Yan's eyes widened, full of anger and hatred, it's all because of you. Grandma she died, you devil, you will get retribution sooner or later. Chen Ling smiled coldly, retribution. Do you think you can do anything to defeat me? As he spoke, the strength in his hand increased, and Mo Yan suddenly felt a sense of suffocation, and his face turned pale. At this moment, Bai Hesheng suddenly said, Mr. Chen, please let him go. He is just a child and doesn't understand anything. Chen Ling turned to look at Bai Hesheng and sneered, Humph, you are really kind, but I don't want to cause trouble in the future. This kid must die. Bai Hesheng frowned, Mr. Chen, you have already killed Shi Yuha, this is enough. Chen Ling burst out laughing, Ha ha, she brought it upon herself and this guy seems to have a good relationship with her, so I will be even more reluctant to keep him. After speaking, the power in his hand increased again, Mo Yan's face became paler and paler, and the breath of life gradually disappeared. Bai Hesheng sighed helplessly, he knew that he could not stop Chen Ling and could only watch his death silently. Chen Ling nodded with satisfaction, the magic eye absorbed his soul, and then with a wave of his hand, he threw Mo Yan's body far away. It's a pity that the luck level is a bit low, but no matter how little meat is, it is still meat. 
Okay, one problem has been solved, now it's time to deal with other things. Chen Ling turned and left, leaving Bai Hesheng standing there, looking at Shi Yuha's body, his heart full of sadness and helplessness. The senior officials of Vermilion Bird University dared to be angry but did not dare to speak out. Chen Ling did not take them seriously at all. In this way, Chen Ling went to Black Tortoise University. Principal, this, the dean said with an ugly expression. Old she has fallen, and we can't afford to offend Chen Ling. That's it, don't mention this matter again, he J said sentimentally. But he was a little confused, why did the great emperor fall and there was no vision of heaven and earth? It was so strange. As everyone knows, above the clouds, the old man Tiandao has been frightened countless times. Old man, you can't touch him. If you dare to touch him, I will replace you with someone else. Said the little lowly fiercely. Tiandao swallowed his saliva. Facing the chaos divine thunder, he did not dare to act rashly and could only nod weakly. The same goes for Black Tortoise University. After Chen Ling killed the son of luck, no one dared to touch him. At this point, Chen Ling once again traveled to Qilin University. This is a place where there are many children of luck when you hear the name. Qilin University is located on a mountain in Tiandu. This mountain also has a special name, Rulin Peak. It has existed longer than Qinglong University and is mysterious. Chen Ling came to the mountain gate of Rulin Peak and saw two unicorn stone sculptures placed on both sides. Looking at the details, the sculptures were lifelike, as if they were about to come alive at any time. There was no one stationed in front of the mountain gate, probably because of confidence in one's own strength, thinking that no one would offend Kilin University. This is Kirin University. Chen Ling looked at Kilin University in front of him and couldn't help but feel a surge of expectation in his heart. He knows that this is the place to cultivate a child of destiny, and it is also the place where he can look for more opportunities. Chen Ling stepped toward the mountain gate. As soon as he got closer, he felt an invisible pressure coming over him. He frowned slightly, but did not flinch, but continued to move forward. As he advanced, the pressure became stronger and stronger, but Chen Ling still walked firmly without any hesitation. Chen Ling walked slowly towards the mountain gate. With every step he took, his aura became stronger and stronger. When he walked to the mountain gate, his whole body was already exuding a heart-stopping aura. He raised his foot and kicked hard towards the thick and huge mountain door. There was a loud bang, and the mountain gate was instantly kicked to pieces, turning into countless fragments flying everywhere. As the mountain gate shattered, a magnificent scene appeared in front of Chen Ling. A wide stone staircase leading to the sky extends up from the foot of the mountain. At a glance, it seems to reach directly into the sky. Chen Ling stared at this stone staircase, feeling a surge of pride and ambition in his heart. He took a deep breath, then stepped onto the stone stairs step by step, heading upward. At the same time, on the campus of Kirin University, a terrifying aura gradually awakened. The owners of these auras were all powerful people and teachers on campus, and they all turned their attention to Chen Ling. Someone whispered softly, there's going to be trouble again. Someone else said doubtfully, I can't see through this kid. However, some people said calmly, it doesn't matter, let the students on the Kilin ranking go to greet. What's more, he whispered, the Chen family. Chen Ling kept climbing along the stone steps and finally reached the end of the stone steps. A huge platform appeared in front of him, but this platform did not show the whole picture of Kilin University. Instead, it looked like a fighting arena. The surrounding area was empty, no one was around, and it seemed extremely quiet. Chen Ling's heart moved, and the power of his soul surged out like a tide. At the same time, he opened the eye of Godfiend and glanced around. When he saw the scene in front of him clearly, he couldn't help but suddenly realized, so it turns out that Kilin University is alone in a secret realm. He looked up at the sphere emitting mysterious purple light above the platform and murmured to himself. At this moment, more than ten rays of light suddenly flashed in the purple sphere, and then, a dozen figures appeared around Chen Ling, tightly surrounding him. Chen Ling looked at these people calmly, with the corners of his mouth raised slightly, revealing a smile. Through the system panel, he saw the detailed information of each of them, especially the Eight Sons of Destiny, which made him feel happy. Who are you? How dare you destroy the gate of Arkilin University? Don't you want to live? One of the young-looking young men asked angrily. 
Chen Ling's eyes slowly swept over each of them, and finally settled on the young man, and said lightly, I am Chen Ling from Qinglong University, and I came here specifically to challenge the genius of Qilin University. Quote. However, as soon as he finished speaking, he did not receive any response. Those people just looked at him quietly, with no expression on their faces. At this moment, the young man who just spoke spoke again, with a hint of contempt in his tone, Oh! So you are Chen Ling, who has been in the limelight recently. That's all. Hearing this, Chen Ling raised the corners of his mouth slightly, revealing a faint smile, and then responded softly, Since you already know me, do you dare to challenge me? As soon as he finished speaking, these dozen geniuses all showed disdain, and some even chuckled. To them, Chen Ling's talent and cultivation were just average and not worthy of their attention. After all, they are also the proud ones of heaven, so they naturally have the pride and self-confidence of the proud ones. However, they didn't know that the outside world's boasting about Chen Ling's miraculousness was not groundless. It's a pity that these talented people only know how to work hard behind closed doors and practice hard, knowing nothing about what is happening in the outside world. They have no idea what kind of powerful existence they are about to face. At this time, Yi Junlin waved his hand casually, pointed at Chen Ling and said, Wang Xiaoning, I'll leave this person to you. He's not worthy of us taking action ourselves. That's right, the young boy who spoke before was Wang Xiaoning, who was also a child of luck. After Wang Xiaoning heard Yi Junlin's words, he nodded excitedly to express his understanding. Then, he turned to look at Chen Ling, with a confident smile on his face. While Wang Xiaoning moved his body, he challenged Chen Ling, Boy, today I will let you taste the power of my fist. Don't worry, I will knock out your teeth one by one. As he spoke, he also showed off his vague muscles, as if to show off his strength to Chen Ling. Chen Ling took a step forward, with fierce murderous intent exuding from his whole body. He stared at Wang Xiaoning with cold eyes and said slowly, Do you know my rules? Wang Xiaoning frowned slightly and replied impatiently, I don't care about breaking the rules. Chen Ling raised the corner of his mouth slightly, revealing a sneer, and said firmly and coldly, If you fight against me, you must pay a price, either surrender to me, or die. Hearing this, Wang Xiaoning's body trembled slightly, but he quickly regained his composure. After all, he is also a genius, possessing the cultivation of the fifth layer of Saint Realm. Such strength is already at the top level among his peers. However, Chen Ling had no intention of playing house games with them. He took action directly without reservation. Seeing this, other people retreated to the sides and watched the battle with their arms folded. The blood sword in Chen Ling's hand instantly shot out two rays of sword light, which went straight to Wang Xiaoning's throat like lightning. But Wang Xiaoning was not afraid, and quickly took out an exquisite dagger. He grasped the handle of the knife tightly with both hands, swung it quickly, and slashed countless blades in succession, finally successfully breaking Chen Ling's attack. Wang Xiaoning was no longer relaxed, but looked at Chen Ling solemnly, My hands hurt so much. This Chen Ling is really not simple. Chen Ling's body slowly flew up and stood on Wang Xiaoning's head, looking down at him with no fluctuation in his eyes, as if he was looking at a dead person. Wang Xiaoning didn't like Chen Ling's eyes very much, and his face was ugly, tisk. Who do you think you are? Continue, I will make your so-called myth fall today. Chen Ling whispered a few words, as you wish. After saying that, Chen Ling's right eye began to move, with blood-red pupils and black whites. A vortex rotates in front of the right eye, exuding bursts of devouring power. Magic eye. Open. In an instant, Wang Xiaoning's body trembled, his eyes lost color and became numb, and he stood motionless. In the magic eye space, Wang Xiaoning saw a lot of things. His parents no longer loved him, his eldest brother stabbed him in the back, and his doting grandfather no longer looked at him. Everything was so real. This was unacceptable to Wang Xiaoning. He shook his head wildly and wanted to escape from this terrible world, but found that he was trapped here and could not move. His heart was full of fear and despair, and he didn't know how to face this reality. At this time, Chen Ling's voice suddenly sounded in his ears, How is it? Do you still want to continue? Wang Xiaoning's face was pale, his lips were trembling, but he could not speak. He knew that he had already lost, and lost miserably. But he was still unwilling to give in. 
He stared at Chen Ling with his eyes wide open, a hint of stubbornness flashing in his eyes. No, impossible. Always a flower that has never experienced torture, Wang Xiaoning fell into endless pain and despair, and his whole person became confused and helpless. His eyes were full of sadness and fear, tears fell down his cheeks, and he shouted with a trembling voice, No. Dad, Mom, I am Ning Er, how could you do this to me? Brother, no, why are you doing this to me? We are brothers and sisters. There was endless grief and confusion in his voice, as if the whole world had collapsed. Because, you took away everything that belonged to me. You shouldn't have come to this world at all. The tone was cold and decisive, without any emotion. No, no, Wang Xiaoning howled and cried, the fear and despair deep in his heart welling up in his heart like a tide. Outside, these talented people looked at Wang Xiaoning's motionless body, with confusion and doubts on their faces, what the hell is Wang Xiaoning doing? Is he scared out of his wits? No, there is no soul in his current body. Yi Junlin suddenly said in shock after checking carefully. What? Everyone exclaimed and turned their attention to Chen Ling's eyes that exuded bursts of magic light. Looking at Wang Xiaoning in the magic eye space, Chen Ling shook his head in disappointment and murmured to himself, who will be the first person to withstand my move? Without thinking any more, Chen Ling directly used his soul to strangle. When the power of the soul in the magic eye space moved, Wang Xiaoning's soul body was instantly strangled into pieces. In the end, it was absorbed by the magic eye, and in the outside world, Wang Xiaoning's body slowly fell down and turned into dust. This is too simple. Wang Xiaoning didn't use all his strength from beginning to end, so he was killed like this. This Chen Ling is very mysterious. It seems that we have underestimated him. Yi Junlin said solemnly. At this time, several stone seats suddenly appeared around the gladiatorial platform, and several figures appeared on them. These people are the powerful people and presidents of Kirin University, and they are all the great emperor realm. You go on, don't worry, we are just here to watch the game. Said the president of Kilin University. Chen Ling looked at them silently for a few times, and then said to the remaining twelve people, you all come together. Don't waste time. Furious, arrogant, do you think this is Qinglong Academy? We are not those losers. Li Mu, the president of Kilin University, watched this scene with interest, with a smile on his face, what an interesting young man. However, I, the genius of Kilin University, will not be defeated easily. Chen Ling stood in the center of the crowd, with the corners of his mouth raised slightly and a hint of disdain in his eyes. He stretched out his right hand and gently hooked his fingers, as if provoking the people in front of him. This action immediately aroused the anger and dissatisfaction of the people around him. Go, since he asks like this, we will satisfy him. Wang Chen roared, with anger flashing in his eyes. Others also looked at each other, a trace of determination flashing in their eyes. They knew that retreating in the face of Chen Ling's provocation would only make themselves more embarrassed. So, they decided to take action together to teach this arrogant young man a lesson. For a moment, everyone used their martial arts skills to attack Chen Ling. These martial arts may be fierce, feminine, or sharp, and each of them contains powerful power. However, Chen Ling remained as steady as a mountain, dodging these attacks easily. Chen Ling roared angrily, Chaos got the end body. Open. In an instant, a layer of chaotic light glowed around him, and then he shouted again, Godfiend is coming. In an instant, a huge Godfiend phantom appeared behind Chen Ling. The Godfiend phantom was 10,000 feet tall and exuded a terrifying aura, as if it was a demon god transmigrated from ancient times. Following Chen Ling's roar, the surrounding space began to distort and deform, and a powerful pressure enveloped the surroundings. Godfiend forbidden. Chen Ling formed a seal with his hands and used divine ability. The Godfian shadow suddenly opened its arms, and mysterious runes shone brightly, forming a powerful field. At the same time, the blood sword in Chen Ling's hand suddenly became extremely huge, a hundred feet long, and its whole body shone with bloody light, as if it was made of blood. Chen Ling held the blood sword and used his sword skills again, Godfian cuts twice. He swung his blood sword and struck forward fiercely with endless power and power. Two bloody sword energies rushed towards the opposite side like rainbows penetrating the sun. Chen Ling directly used all his strength, and the late cultivation level of the great emperor realm exploded without reservation. 
In an instant, the heaven and earth changed, the blood moon hung high, night fell, countless crows flew by, and ominous sounds came. At this time, Li Mu could no longer sit still and stood up suddenly, looking at Chen Ling with shock on his face, great emperor realm cultivation. This kid is really a monster. I'm afraid they are about to encounter Chen Ling's vicious hands, said an old man from the great emperor realm at Qilin University. After hearing what he said, Li Mu couldn't help feeling worried, but he didn't take action to stop it. Because the strength of the Chen family is too strong, he cannot compete with it. Moreover, even if he takes action personally, he may not be able to defeat Chen Ling. Chen Ling's attack came instantly, as fast as lightning, catching people off guard. Although these twelve people were all talented and powerful people, they had no time to react to such a sudden attack. No matter those people who are known as geniuses or those who have special luck, they are unable to display their strength at this moment. Because of the huge gap in realm, all efforts become futile. On one side is the cultivation of the saint realm, and on the other side is the peerless powerhouse of the great emperor realm. This gap is as difficult to cross as a chasm. Thinking of the plot of the novel he had read in his previous life, Chen Ling couldn't help but reveal an intriguing smile. He murmured to himself, it is indeed a bit outrageous to kill enemies across several realms. The reality is not as beautiful as in the fictional story. Godfian slashed across their throats with two slashes, blood spattered everywhere in an instant, and heads fell to the ground. Without any suspense, the remaining seven sons of destiny were all killed on the spot. This scene was shocking. I thought there would be a fierce battle, but it ended so quickly and decisively. The truth is so cruel, no one came to rescue, and no experience points were sent to the children of destiny. They were killed so easily without any resistance. Li Mu clenched his fists tightly, his heart filled with anger and unwillingness. But he didn't dare to make any move and could only look at the young man in front of him silently. Several powerful men from the great emperor realm were also silent, quietly observing the killing. At this moment, a breath even more powerful than the great emperor realm came, as if the world was trembling with it, and the heavy pressure was like a mountain pressing down on an egg, blessing everyone, even those as powerful as Chen Ling were no exception. However, Chen Ling shook slightly, and the coercion disappeared instantly, as if it had never appeared. However, the few great emperor realm experts from Qilin University were suppressed by this coercion and could not move at all. Behind them, the space began to fluctuate, and a crack appeared quietly, like a broken mirror. Then, a foot slowly stepped out from inside. Everyone took a closer look and saw that the person who came was a middle-aged man. He was tall and straight, with a handsome and majestic face. He had short, capable hair that stood up at the roots. His eyes were as bright as stars, shining with a deep light. Wearing a robe as white as snow, he looked like an immortal descending to earth. His breath was unfathomable and intimidating, and an invisible pressure filled the air, making people feel suffocated. Li Emu's eyes widened and he stared blankly at the middle-aged man, his mouth opened wide, and he was speechless for a long time. After a while, he finally came to his senses, with an expression of disbelief on his face. He quickly knelt down on one knee and said respectfully, Li Mu, the 367th president of Qilin University, meet Luo Zhu. Seeing this, the other people also imitated Li Emu's actions and paid their respects in unison, see Luo Zhu. Luo Zhu didn't speak, just waved his hand gently and focused his gaze on Chen Ling not far away, with a hint of surprise in his heart. He secretly sighed. I didn't expect that today's great world could give birth to such a young and powerful great emperor realm. However, what puzzled him even more was why he felt a faint threat from this young man. With this doubt, Luo Zhu walked towards Chen Ling step by step. Chen Ling did not panic because of Luo Zhu's arrival. On the contrary, he stood calmly on the spot, with a rebellious look in his eyes. Facing the powerful existence in front of him, he had no fear and looked at him firmly. Luo Zhu asked softly, What is your name? Chen Ling replied without hesitation, Chen Ling. When he heard this name, Luo Zhu's face instantly turned gloomy, Chen Ling. Your surname is Chen. Are you from the Chen family? People from the Chen family are always so arrogant and arrogant, which is really annoying. When Chen Ling heard this, he frowned slightly and felt a little unhappy. He murmured in a low voice, Tiong. Luo Zhu was confused by the word, 
Tiong, in Chen Ling's mouth, but at this moment, the space suddenly fluctuated violently. In the blink of an eye, a figure appeared next to Chen Ling as if teleporting. A powerful aura emanated from Chen Ling's body, making Luo Zhu beside him feel eclipsed. Young master, Tiong said respectfully, everyone who has a grudge against our Chen family, or who slanders our Chen family, leave no one alive, kill them all. Chen Ling pointed at Luo Zhu and said in a cold tone. Yes, Tiong nodded expressionlessly in agreement. Luo Zhu quickly tried to calm down Chen Ling's anger. Little friend Chen Ling, is this going too far? However, Chen Ling did not respond to him. Seeing this situation, Luo Zhu felt that he had been slighted and threatened angrily. Boy, don't be too arrogant. Do you think you can defeat me by calling a heavenly emperor realm expert? Let me tell you, I am a heavenly emperor late stage. When I dominated Blue Star, you didn't know where I was. Facing Luo Zhu's threat, Chen Ling remained unmoved and calmly uttered one word, kill. As Chen Ling's words fell, Tiong's cultivation completely exploded. A terrifying pressure filled the air, making people palpitate. God Emperor Realm. At the same time, a sky-reaching beam of light emerged from Tiong and shot straight into the sky, as if it was about to pierce the sky. At this moment, everyone in Tiandu was shocked by this powerful force. They all stopped what they were doing and looked at the sky, their eyes filled with astonishment and awe. In the sky, the heavenly tower was suspended in midair, exuding endless pressure. Behind him, a circle of divine rings slowly emerged, with mysterious runes engraved on them, shining with dazzling light. This divine ring is the symbol of the Emperor Realm that belongs exclusively to God. God Emperor Realm Luo Zhu stared at the Tiong in the sky with his eyes widened in astonishment, and a strong fear surged in his heart. He originally just wanted to show off and scare Chen Ling, but he didn't expect that the other party would actually summon a powerful person from the Emperor Realm. In an instant, the sky and the earth changed color, and the wind and clouds surged. The powerful pressure of the God Emperor was suppressed like a mountain pressing down on an egg. Luo Zhu was instantly suppressed to the ground, unable to move at all. The few great emperor realm experts on the side were trembling with fear and did not dare to make a sound. Tiong raised a hand with his palm facing outward. Endless spiritual energy gathered between his palms, and the terrifying aura continued to spread. In the blink of an eye, a ball of light condensed with black spiritual energy formed in his hand. Then, he pushed forward without hesitation. The ball of light quickly turned into a black beam of light, heading straight towards Luo Zhu at an astonishing speed. This strike was not meant to be muddled, as if it was going to destroy everything. Even to his death, Luo Zhu didn't understand that he was being killed just because he was acting mean for a moment. The black beam of light penetrated Luo Zhu's body and directly annihilated his soul. Only an empty shell remained in place. Chen Ling unceremoniously summoned the heavenly demon Mosquito, letting it absorb the remaining power from Luo Zhu. When the heavenly demon Mosquito saw the body of the heavenly emperor realm expert, he buzzed excitedly, his wings vibrated rapidly, and he couldn't wait to rush over. Its mouthparts were like sharp blades, instantly piercing the corpse and sucking the blood greedily. Every suck made its body expand slightly, as if it was enjoying a delicious feast. The corpse shriveled up quickly at a speed visible to the naked eye. The originally plump muscles and skin gradually became dry and shrunk, and finally only a thin layer of skin remained attached to the bones. However, the heavenly demon Mosquito did not seem to be satisfied and continued to suck the last drop of blood from the corpse until it was completely drained. After the corpse was completely shriveled, Chen Ling waved his hand gently, and the heavenly demon Mosquito flew back to his chest. Then, he waved his hand again, and a flame spurted out from his hand, instantly wrapping the shriveled corpse. The fire was burning, and the body was quickly burned to ashes and finally disappeared without a trace. During the whole process, Li Mu and others could only watch helplessly and did not dare to intervene easily. They knew that Chen Ling was very powerful and did not dare to offend him easily. At this moment, they could only stand quietly and wait for the storm to end. Chen Ling glanced at them and did not embarrass them. Then, he took Tiong with him, turned around and left, returning to Chen's house. He was going to take a closer look at the reward and see if there were any other surprises waiting for him. As Chen Ling left, only a few great emperor realm experts from Kirin University were left on the scene. 
They looked at each other, their eyes full of helplessness and frustration. Facing such a powerful opponent, they felt that their power seemed so small. At the headquarters of the Black Dragon Society, Lan Wangchuan had escaped back for a few days, but the president, Yi Tianju, never summoned him and left him aside in the cold. To this day, Lan Wangchuan is still training his men as usual, looking at the huge door from time to time, his heart full of expectation, eager to be summoned by Yi Tianju. Due to the influence of the Dao Heart Demon, Lan Wangchuan's thinking has undergone earth-shaking changes. Now, he only has Chen Ling in his heart. He believes that Chen Ling is his creator and his only master. Wangchuan, come to me. Suddenly, a low and majestic voice came from behind the giant door. Lan Wangchuan was secretly happy in his heart, but he didn't show it on the surface. Instead, he deliberately pretended to be uneasy and walked into the room slowly. In the room, a mysterious man in black robe was sitting on a gorgeous chair, sipping a glass of red wine alone, appearing indifferent to Lan Wangchuan's arrival. After drinking the last sip of red wine, Lan Wangchuan quickly walked over and helped him pour half a glass of red wine. President, Yi Tianju took a sip of red wine and said, Here you go, Wangchuan. Tell me, what's going on in China, and as for you, how did you come back? Lan Wangchuan tried his best to calm down, with a little panic, President, all our branches in China have been destroyed by the Chen family. The Chen family is unfathomable and sent out 18 powerful people in the Great Sage realm. We simply can't I can't resist it. Yi Tian never spoke, but looked at him expressionlessly, with a hint of indifference and majesty in his eyes, gesturing for him to continue. Lan Wangchuan swallowed his saliva and continued with a trembling voice. They got the news from nowhere, found our branch directly, and then launched a bloody massacre. In the end, all the members were killed, except for me. I sensed the danger and found a place to hide in advance. But they still refused to let me go, and kept looking for my whereabouts. I thought, I must bring this news back to you, the president. So, I damaged my cultivation, was seriously injured, and finally escaped back to the headquarters. Speaking of this, Lan Wangchuan showed a hint of panic and helplessness on his face. Yi Tianju sat on the sofa, crossed his legs, stared sharply into Lan Wangchuan's eyes, and asked word for word, You didn't lie to me, did you? Lan Wangchuan was a little numb when he was stared at by Yi Tianju, but he still pretended to be calm and replied, Absolutely not. My loyalty to the President and the Black Dragon Society is astonishing. Yi Tianju stood up slowly, turned around and walked towards the window. Just when Lan Wangchuan breathed a sigh of relief and thought he had escaped, he heard Yi Tianju say coldly. I hate betrayal the most. Wangchuan, you disappoint me so much. Lan Wangchuan tensed up when he heard this. Suddenly, a sharp black thorn emerged from the shadow behind him. It was two meters long and as thick as the mouth of a large bull. In an instant, the sharp black thorn penetrated Lan Wangchuan's back and pierced him in midair. Lan Wangchuan struggled in pain and vomited blood from his mouth. President. Dot why is this? Lan Wangchuan asked hesitantly, his eyes full of confusion and pain. Yi Tianju walked over slowly, put his masked face close to Lan Wangchuan's, and said coldly, Why? You should know it very well. The price for betraying me is death. Through the mask, Lan Wangchuan saw a pair of eyes that he would never forget. What kind of look is that? Cold and indifferent to the extreme, as if there is no emotional fluctuation, and everything in the world is just a tool to him. At this time, Lan Wangchuan's heart was filled with despair and fear. He knew that he could not escape from this man's control and could only wait for death to come. His body began to tremble, and the light in his eyes gradually dimmed. As time goes by, Lan Wangchuan's breath of life becomes weaker and weaker. Blood continued to ooze from his mouth, staining the ground red. Finally, his head hung down feebly, and Lan Wangchuan died. Young master of the Chen family. Interesting, I'm back, Yi Tianju said softly, with a hint of excitement in his voice. His eyes fell on Lan Wangchuan's body, and the corners of his mouth raised slightly, revealing a cruel smile. Then, his figure gradually disappeared into the air, leaving only one sentence, Chen family, just wait. Then, he went straight to Washa with a clear and determined goal. Yi Tianju's departure made the whole scene quiet. There is a smell of blood in the air, which makes people feel depressed and heavy. 
However, all this seemed to have no impact on Yi Tianju. He has decided to return to China to face those who have hurt him. Chen family, in Chen Ling's room. He sat cross-legged with an excited look on his face, ready to receive this generous reward. After all, he had killed eleven children of luck. System, settlement reward, Chen Ling said impatiently. Ding, congratulations to the host, you killed eleven children of luck in a row. The villain is full of character and in line with the villain's style. You are a role model for us, and the rewards are being distributed. Ding, congratulations to the host, you have received the Supreme Roulette 10 Consecutive Lottery Ticket X999, Great Emperor Pill the 10th 99, Heavenly Emperor Pill the 10th 9, Qualification Upgrade Pool. Ding, the rewards have been distributed, please keep up the host's efforts, kill all the heavens, and destroy all the children of luck. Hearing a series of beeps from the system, Chen Ling couldn't help but widen his eyes, and his heart was filled with joy and excitement. These rewards were so generous that they made him feel extremely satisfied. Especially the Supreme Roulette 10 consecutive lottery ticket, which can be said to be one of the most precious prizes. Anyone in the entire universe can get it, no matter what level it is. But it depends purely on luck. As for other rewards, such as realm improvement cards, godfian sets, etc., they are all very practical items that can help him further improve his strength. Chen Ling nodded with satisfaction. He knew that as long as he continued to work hard and kept killing the Son of Destiny, he would get more rewards and become stronger. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.